to take this action where it's absolutely necessary, where there is no other alternative way of preventing the armed attack. And when we've done that, then we'll come to Parliament, as the Prime Minister did yesterday, and explain the circumstances. Palin spoke one day after Prime Minister David Cameron said a missile fire from an RAF drone had been used against three jihadis in Syria. News and analysis at townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. Congress is set to hold its first hearing into controversial Planned Parenthood videos that have sparked an outcry from pro-life groups and calls to defund the organization. The House Judiciary Committee will hear from medical and legal experts who will talk about late-term abortions and procedures involved in harvesting tissue from unborn babies. Neither Planned Parenthood officials nor representatives of the pro-life group responsible for those videos have been invited to this first hearing. Anti-abortion supporters have threatened to block a government fund bill unless it defunds Planned Parenthood. Capitol Hill correspondent Wally Hines reporting. The judge overseeing the trial of a Missouri man convicted of killing three people at Jewish sites in Kansas has set a formal sentencing hearing for November. Jurors recommended a death sentence today for Fraser Miller, the avowed white supremacist who has repeatedly admitted to the killings was convicted of capital murder last week. More on these stories at townhall.com. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day. But growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. Katie offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KatieArmor.com. Come and take it. What will she do? Jerika Duncan. Free Talk Live. This is Free Talk Live. You are here with us, and you can join us on the phones or on Skype and talk about whatever happens beyond your mind. Of course, there's always stuff that we'll bring to the table to discuss with you here tonight. And uh, apparently, uh, Kentucky clerk of Rowan County, Kim Davis, has been ordered released from jail on Tuesday uh, by the judge who locked her up for refusing to issue marriage licenses to gay couples. With you in the studio tonight, you've got Ian. And Conan. And Mark. Uh, Grace in Kentucky is where the story's from, cbsnews.com. Hundreds of supporters saying, amazing Grace and God bless America. As her lawyer gathered, uh, her lawyer spoke to the crowd and news outlets gathered outside. U.S. District Judge David Banning on Tuesday lifted the contempt order against Davis, saying he was satisfied that her deputies are fulfilling their obligation to grant licenses to same-sex couples in her absence. But he warned Davis not to interfere with them, saying, quote, If Defendant Davis should interfere in any way with their issuance, that will be considered a violation of this order, and appropriate sanctions will be considered. Davis's lawyer, Matt Staver of Liberty Counsel, a Christian law firm, refused to say whether Davis would obey that order. Quote, Kim Davis cannot and will not violate her conscience, Staver said outside the jail, adding that Davis will return to work this week. Davis immediately appeared to be crying and said little immediately following her release when she was asked by reporters, was it worth it? In response, she smiled and nodded. Mm, 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 mm. When asked how the last few days have been in jail, Davis responded, all has been well. At a rally shortly afterwards, Davis came out to we cheers. We have a great jail in our county. And her arms were raised. Her husband, who was in blue dungarees and a straw hat, was beside her. The Rocky theme song, Eye of the Tiger, blared in the background. And GOP presidential candidate Mike Huckabee uh, introduced her. In fact, I believe that at one point he said that God had intervened in the situation. No, that's nice. Huckabee knows. He's a preacher man. 
Our toll-free number tonight, if you want to join us here, is 855-450-FREE. Your comments on the Kim Davis situation. It's it's a kind of a mixed uh, circumstance. Like, there are different ways that you can approach this thing. And when Chris Cantwell was on on Friday night, he kind of had an interesting perspective that I hadn't heard before. It's just the obvious perspective of, you know, there's the two obvious perspectives of, well, Kim says... You know, this is her religion and she should not have to violate her religion in order to, uh, you know, work at this uh, this particular job, which has rules that tell her to violate her religion. Uh, The other side of that is that, look, lady, this is your job. Uh, If you don't like the rules of the job, then maybe you shouldn't have taken that job. Maybe you should leave the job if you can't fulfill the duties that are required of you by that position. And initially, that was kind of where I was coming from. Yeah, that's my position. But Chris made an interesting observation, and that was that she did uh, swear an oath to uphold the Constitution and that this could be her interpretation of the Constitution. And so, therefore, she's not technically violating her oath of office in order to do that. I'm not sure how you would interpret where, which portion of the Constitution you would interpret um, to come to that conclusion. Yeah, where, where, where states' is, rights. Uh, the idea being that the this is being shoved down on the state of Kentucky. This the gay marriage okay. ruling is being shoved down on the state of Kentucky by the Supreme Court, essentially legislating from the bench, and that if the people of Kentucky are you know bigoted uh, overall and they don't want to have uh, gay marriage in Kentucky, then it should be the state's right to not have that. And so, therefore, she is upholding the Kentucky Constitution. You win. I'm uh, convinced. State, state's rights. Um, no, that's, that's what I said. It was a really interesting argument. Yeah, I hadn't heard that one. Yeah, but the point that I would make in, to rebut that is, is, look, the Constitution is very clear that the Supreme Court has appellate jurisdiction, and um, therefore— uh, you know the, what they're suggesting there is is that the courts have the jurisdiction to decide how the executive branch, that's what she is, uh, interprets the law and those sorts of things, so that the uh, the judges essentially have ultimately the um, uh, you know they have the say so whether she likes it or not. And I get where she's I get I get the point that's being made, but ultimately, hey, you know I've got to pay end your stinking government, so therefore, um, it, you know I need this service and you've got to provide it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, but isn't it isn't there something to be said? I mean, you're the uh, the big fan on the show of nullification. You, uh, whenever I mention secession, you're yep. like, whoa, 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 secession, we can't have that. How about nullification? And nullification is the idea of the state government telling the federal government to go screw themselves. Uh, like we're not going to collect your tax, we're not going to jump through your hoops. You know, we're in a sovereign state, and so we're going to do what we want. And so this is kind of her way of nullifying the federal government's judge's decision in this case. And well, and as a fan of nullification, shouldn't you be siding with government bureaucrats at the state level who refuse to do the bidding of the federal government? I don't know that I am. So the contract clause, uh, there's something called the contract clause in the Constitution. And I'm not um, a uh, you know any kind of constitutional expert or anything like that, but I, I know this thing exists. And the idea is, is that um, you're supposed to, uh, you know, that, that states are supposed to honor the contracts of other states, essentially, where uh, um, if, if I enter into a contract with you in Florida, that that, con- uh, that contract is still valid in... Mm-hmm. Um, of course, that's not true across the board with, like, gun permits. Well, I, I would call that, like, you know, I call that a problem, too. Mm-hmm. If there's a state in the union that provides me with a piece of paper that says that I can own a gun, then another state in the union or another city or whatever shouldn't be able to. Um, so, anyway, here's the, no state shall enter into a treaty, alliance, or confederation, grant letters of mark or reprisal, coin money, emit bills of credit, make any um, thing but gold and silver, coin uh, a tender in payment of debts, pass any bill of a tender, ex post facto law or law impairing the obligation of contracts, or grant any title of nobility. So uh, if a essentially a marriage contract, mm-hmm. it should be recognized. If it's recognized in one state, it should re- be recognized in all of them. To me, that's how okay. I interpret the constitution and the state's rights to nullify that. Essentially they, you know, if they enter into the contract that is such that the, that is the constitution, they should have to uh, abide by it. So, so what you're the saying contract is- clause, uh, it, it trumps the 10th amendment in this circumstance because it's uh-huh. clear. So what you're saying is that if another state were to mar- marry people, that Kentucky has to, uh, that by has your interpretation, accept that. 
Uh, but does that but mean that don't. Kentucky has to issue its own marriage licenses? I don't think that um, – I would think under that argument that they would not have to marriage uh, in- issue their own marriage licenses. Um, but I suspect this lady isn't going to be particularly uh, – amicable to the idea of respecting Hawaii's marriage licenses mm-hmm. for gay people. See, this is one of the problems when the Christians, uh, you know, turn over the the right to contract to marriage to the government some, uh, you know, generations ago. Now their children, the Christians, have to deal with that, uh, those the consequences of that action. The government should never have been involved in the first place. Sure. And if it was involved, all it needed but to now do it's worse, right? was like, acknowledge it. Now it's even worse because now the federal government has crammed this down on all of the different state governments. And I want to make it clear, I support gay people being able to mar- uh, marry. Here in New Hampshire, it's been legal for a number of years. It was the first state to actually do it through the legislative process. There were other states that beat it to the punch uh, with the uh, the ballot procedure. So in California or wherever else, this has happened by ballot vote. And then New Hampshire was the first where the legislature actually put that through. So I'm on the side of, uh, of gay marriage, but also I thought Chris's argument was... Was interesting, Conan. Where are you at on uh, this Kim Davis thing? I think she's a crazy person, but I think Cantwell is absolutely right. I mean, this is a great uh, example of uh, of nullification. And even if it's not what we agree with, mm, exactly. uh, it's what she believes in. And the problem, however, is she's still hurting people. She's still using the power of government to control their lives, and so she's and she so she's in a, a position of power, uh, and she's able to determine, you know, who gets to, you know. Uh, uh, go down with this contract. So, so, so I don't know. It's uh, I, it's a tough issue. Well, I I would say also if she articulated the constitutional argument in this circumstance, she has not. Right. Well, that's you know Chris, that's Cantwell, Chris Cantwell's argument. Yeah, Chris Cantwell articulating the, the the argument. I think it's it's certainly better than what she's saying. She's yeah. saying it's her religious freedom. Go uh, take a long walk off a short pier, lady. Um, I mean, I've, I think yeah. the best one is the Facebook meme I've seen with the Amish lady saying, "No, <laughs> I will not grant you a driver's license for one of those devil machines." Right. 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 So her argument is specious and flimsy. His yeah. argument is better, but I still believe that the contract clause of the Constitution trumps the Tenth Amendment in that circumstance because it's um, because it's specific and the state signed on. And what do you think? The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And this is Free Talk Live. You can also Skype into the show at Skype username lrn.fm. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of O2 Pure, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-717-9859. The revolutionary O2 Pure design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no nasty tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love whenever and wherever they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with O2 Pure. Again, free starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-717-9859. 1-800-717-9859. 1-800-717-9859. No! That's the sound your brain makes when you realize you're buying something and forgot the coupon. Online or in a store, knowing that you're missing a deal is the worst. You need the app from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code UPDATE to 42767. Then just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupon bonds in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's UPDATE to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. Tuesday morning, we've got the start of a special Rawson Report series called School Danger. These words. Thank you all so much. 
I just want to give God the glory. He is, his people have rallied, and you are a strong people. At times, Kim Davis's release resembled a campaign rally. First up, what some call the safest school in America uses state-of-the-art technology to protect kids. How does it work, and should your child's school have it? Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rossin got some exclusive access. He's got the story this morning. Jeff, good morning. Hey, guys. Good morning to you. We're all parents here. I'm sending my girls back to school this week, and I like to think that they're safe inside, but you see another school shooting, and it does scare you. Zero seven seventy one eight hundred eight three one zero seven seventy one eight hundred eight three one zero seven seventy one. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a Block It Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Yeah! It's Free Talk Live, and of course, you can join us here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I, I am glad to see this lady, even though I disagree with, with her, uh, Kim Davis. I, I am glad to see her released from jail. I, I don't think anybody who has not harmed another human being uh, physically or, you know, by frauding them in some way should not be behind bars. I don't think that person should be behind bars. So I am glad to see that the uh, the, the sentence has ended. It, it could have gone on for a long time. And yeah. Contempt is unlimited. I don't uh, celebrate this woman's incarceration in any way, shape, or form. Also, there are ways, there were ways legally to remove her from office without putting her in jail. I mean, they have, they have you know, methods for doing this, and I think they should have gone through that method. Would that have resulted in some people for having to drive either for, you know, the course of some days or some weeks over to uh, the next county over to get their marriage license? Yeah, it probably would have resulted in that. But if you're talking about somebody who's who was elected, who's so hard-headed that uh, they don't want to do that, I don't think, still don't think it's worth uh, putting him, putting her in jail for. By the way, I want to let you know about ExpressCoin.com, the best choice for getting your cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, it is fast, easy, and inexpensive. They're a licensed money services business, and you can get your cryptocurrency with money order or check. Just get started at ExpressCoin.com. Whether you're in the U.S. or Canada, they can probably help you out. You can even do it from your smartphone by downloading their app. Just go to ExpressCoin.com and use coupon code FTL. You'll get up to $40 worth of cryptocurrency with no fee at all. No transfer fee if you use coupon code FTL at expresscoin.com. So the Rocky theme song, Eye of the Tiger, blared in the background as Kim Davis was released from jail to a real, you know, a show here with Mike Huckabee introducing her. Well, the, the judge rightly pointed out that he couldn't just find this lady because if he did that, then all these supporters, like Mike Huckabee, would, pay the, fine. would pay the fine and then she wouldn't, you know, there'd be no consequences essentially. She, she told the crowd through tears, I love you all so much. I just want to give God the glory. His people have rallied, and you are strong people. Then why doesn't she step away from the microphone and let God talk? So get, get this, this whole, I want to, it, it just sounds so ridiculous, such false humility to me when people, when Christians, and, and I'm sure other religions do it, I'm not uh, familiar with them, do this. Um, I want to give God the glory. If you wanted to give God the glory, then let God talk here. Don't get in there and monopolize the mic. Same with the football guys that go there and pray in the end zone. But I mean, this is, 
they were the Bible's very clear that you pray in, in a closet. A closet. Yeah. You don't get out there and show your religion around. Um, and I just I'm it always disgusts but me. But God is speaking through Kim, Mark. Yeah, well, he's speaking through just her like to he us. spoke through forty something authors and sixty something <laughs> books in the the Bible too. I suppose. Oh yeah. We serve a living God, says Kim, who knows exactly where each and every one of us, every one of us is at. Just keep on pressing. Don't let down because he is here and he is worthy and he hates gay people. No, I added that last part. <laughs> I love you guys, she says. Thank you so much. Unquote. The move to release Davis came down after dozens of her supporters gathered on the jailhouse lawn for what they called a rally for religious freedom. Boy, I remember what happened last time I tried to gather with some people on the jailhouse lawn. Twelve of us were arrested and charged with criminal trespass. It was the trespassive 12 as we ended up You need more it. Jesus on your side, Ian, obviously. The uh, Huckabee and fellow Republican presidential candidate Ted Cruz visited Davis in jail. Huckabee later tweeted that he was honored to be with Kim and on and on. Yeah, I hear so on and so uh, forth. Cruz has gotten sort of the, the Christian vote out there. He's uh, sewed it up and somehow Huckabee lost it. I mean, the Huckabee's a preacher and a former, uh, you know, chief of the executive in Arkansas. Yeah, but that Cruz nut, he really sounds like one of those evangelist guys on the big screen. I don't know. He, yeah, I haven't heard him. He's spooky. But, uh, but Huckabee can play the bass or whatever he plays. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Laura Landonwich is an attorney for the couples whose lawsuit led to Davis's filing. She uh, said that she has in her, she has her doubts that Davis will comply with the court's order. Uh, she says, "I would hope that she would recognize her legal obligations at this point and do what's right." Davis, an apostolic Christian, believes gay marriage is a sin. She also believes it would be a sin for her to issue marriage license to a same-sex couple because the licenses are issued under her authority. Well, I mean, isn't it the Christian belief that you can sin as much as you want so long as you ask for forgiveness later Uh, on? That's the that's the Catholic way. I that's think. not. That's not. I thought that was a Christian thing. Well, uh, okay. So different. No, I, I would say that uh, Christians would say that um, they always say we're all sinners. Ask Jesus for forgiveness. If you're not attempting not to sin, you're not a Christian. Like you're not actually saved. Really? So, so you have to sin on accident in order for it not to count. Sin uh, essentially sin without your ability to stop yourself because of lack of willpower. Hmm. So she couldn't just go ahead and issue a marriage license and then ask Jesus for forgiveness. <laughs> she, couldn't, she couldn't do that um, by her belief system. No, that wouldn't. Uh, doing that over and over again would not. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I, you know, first you'd have to prove that Jesus, the guy who hung out with hookers and uh, uh-huh. tax collectors and a variety of other uh, miscreants and these sorts of folks, and a bunch of dudes, would not mm. give somebody a marriage license. And don't forget, Jesus is God, and God um, basically gave humans the right to choice this is the thing you need to understand is as as a christian is is that people have the right to decide to sin and you can't stop them that's because otherwise you're being something other than being christ-like correct you're yeah you're exactly you're taking their lives into your hands and that's not the power that uh god was supposedly given to you she tried in vain, says CBS News, to have state lawmakers change the law as a legal challenge to Kentucky's same-sex marriage had wound its way through the federal appeals court. On Monday, Davis's lawyers took their case to a federal appeals court, asking that Davis be allowed to remove her name and title from marriage certificates issued in Rowan County so that she would not have to act against her conscience. Davis's jailing has offered many of the presidential candidates in the GOP an opportunity to appeal to the party's evangelical Christian wing which opposes same-sex marriage and casts Davis's imprisonment as an issue of religious freedom. Yeah, now she's a martyr, and that's another mistake this judge made. What should the judge have done? I said it very clearly previously. They have a um, – uh, there are systems for removing her from office, mm-hmm. and they should have rated for the prosecutor in that town to go through that system and essentially sanction the lady to you know, say she's violating a court order and then – People who want to get marriage licenses in what's the name of the county? Franklin? Rowan County. I think. Rowan County uh, Rowan. can go over to the next county over. Is, Look, it, is that possible? That's already taking place. The judge is like, all right, well, I, you know, we did this wrong. So get no. out of here and then go ahead and take care of the firing process the legal way. No, the judge is uh, saying that uh, she can come out, but she has to let her lackeys uh, give out the uh, marriage licenses. Right. Mm. So the, the sub clerks at the clerk's office are issuing the marriage licenses, which is why the judge went ahead and let her go. And, you know, that's kind of interesting because originally the provision was the judge was going to require her to essentially violate her conscience. 
uh, in that if, if you know if, if you want to get out of jail, you have to agree that you will begin issuing these marriage licenses. So the judge did bend a little bit on this. He changed essentially has changed his ruling into that uh, she does not have to issue the licenses. She just has to stand by as the other license the other clerks will do so. Yeah, I think it's I think that's fine. I don't see any reason why the associate clerk or the assistant clerk I, can't put their name on it. I wonder if that is just as sinful as doing the act yourself. I to, mean, she to not she, intervene, you mean? Yeah, it, it, what if someone is getting beat up in front of you? Are you if you don't if you just sit there and watch it, you're kind of the, just as much as blame as the guy who's beating on you. I would say it does not seem as sinful you know, mm-hmm. in that she is well, not participating. From an ethics it. standpoint, she wouldn't be guilty. But I don't know from a Christian standpoint what people would say. I what are your thoughts? The Bible should be more clear on things like this. 855-450-FREE allows you to join us here on Free Talk Live. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Health. Organic, fresh fish, robust, mouth-watering vegetables, all from your home. It's called aquaponics. This brilliant, self-sustaining protein and veggie system is perfect for year-round growing. Know exactly where your food is coming from. Aquaponicsource.com is the one-stop shop for all your needs. Fish, fish food, plumbing, full systems, classes, and more. Learn to build your own system. Go to aquaponicsource.com for a free guide to aquaponics. That's aquaponicsource.com. It's time to build your own emergency food stockpile with the industry leader, My Patriot Supply. Once you try them, you'll know why so many Americans like you have made them part of their emergency preparedness plan. Experience the My Patriot Supply difference today with this unbelievable offer. Right now, a four-week food supply is only $99, and that includes free shipping. That's 50% off the online price. Call 800-274-3070 to claim yours. Limit two per caller while supplies last. This offer isn't available online, so you want to make sure and grab this opportunity to get prepared today. 800-274-3070 to get your four-week food supply for the incredible price of only $99, and it'll be shipped to you completely free. Call 800-274-3070 right now. That's 800-274-3070 to claim yours while supplies last. Don't wait. Call today. Do you owe the IRS money? Has the IRS garnished your wages or put a lien against your house? The IRS has the power to make you pay back what they claim you owe and will stop at nothing to collect. There is a solution. Call Signature Tax now. Speak with our professionals and feel the weight of your tax burden lifted from your shoulders. Call now for your free and confidential analysis. 800-481-3147. Again, that's 800-481-3147. 800-481-3147. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. 
That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. You can join us here on the airwaves at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Save at purse.com. You go there and you can save a bunch of money on your Amazon purchases. The average purchase saves 20%. Now, why would somebody want less than 20%? I don't know. Maybe they're in in a hurry. But if you're patient, you can save big time with saveitpurse.com. So I previously was uh, pimping the fact that I had got these headphones at 29% off the Amazon price from saveitpurse.com. I have topped that. I have now gotten a Blu-ray uh, with uh, 40% off. Is this a Blu-ray, a disc? That's correct. That's what a Blu-ray, a sorry. Yeah, movie? a Blu-ray disc, a movie. Uh, not, a, not a new movie, but it's brand new, you know, new in packaging or whatever. It's an older movie. Wes Craven had passed away, and so I was thinking about some of his movies, and I thought that I used to have uh, people under the stairs on Laserdisc and that I'd like to have it again. But since it's just a movie, I don't need it in any kind of quick amount of time. I mean, it's just going to sit on a shelf for most of its life. So why did I need it quickly? I don't. So I set it to, I figured, let me try for 40%, see what I can do. It took a few days. In fact, there was one person who bought, who indicated they were going to buy it, but then they backed out. And so I was like, oh no, you know, well, I'll just keep waiting. And then somebody else went ahead and snatched it up. So I got 40% off of my Blu-ray from Amazon by paying with Bitcoin. That's the catch. You've got to pay with Bitcoin through save at purse.com. So it took a $20 Blu-ray down to about 13 something pretty sweet you can do that too i wonder if they actually snatched it up they're just like oh god 30 percent off all right all right man i'll go ahead and no 40 percent mark 40 percent did you not hear me mention that more than once i thought it was 30 i i know I, no, I, I was looking no, right 40%, at you 40 no. percent off that's god. my new record at save that's, at purse. quite a record yeah so uh you can say in theory you can save up to 50 percent, but that might be impossible i mean i don't know if you can actually get that because you're essentially competing in a marketplace with other buyers for and your half Bitcoin. of that went to amazon so the guy probably only made a couple of dollars well no the full amount goes to amazon conan so the way it works is uh save at basically puts your bitcoin on a marketplace mm-hmm. and then uh somebody who wants to buy bitcoin with their amazon credit pays full price at amazon and then when the product gets mm. to you you indicate that you received it and then it releases the bitcoin to them so essentially, they're they're buying Bitcoin at a forty percent over cost premium. Gotcha. Uh, so save at purse.com. Go get started there and get some serious discounts on brand new stuff that you want over at Amazon. Save at purse.com. Let's go to Robert in Nevada. Robert, you're on Free Talk Live, listening to K Talks. Hey, good afternoon. Welcome. You know, I've been frustrated because you know when he seems to point out that this this woman, uh, Kim, what's her name? Kim Davis. It, wait, it, uh, like every other person in the world, you have an opportunity before you take a job to know whether it's going to present a moral conflict. In fairness to her as an individual, when she took her job, the law was different. But mm-hmm. as soon as she knew that that law was changed, she knew that she was going to ultimately come into a moral conflict. And that would have been the time, if she was honest, and if she was as devoted to her uh, faith, as she claims to be, that would have been the time to say, I can't do this job anymore because it's going to have the duties connected with it that I cannot conscientiously perform. I that tend would to agree have been with the you. honest way to have handled it. Right, but she wanted it both her. ways. She wanted to keep her sweet, sweet state right. job and pension and all the, sw- st- uh, the state benefits that you get from working for the government, and she wanted to have her uh, religious beliefs uh, as well. Yeah, I don't think she was quite that uh, uh, slow or or that average. In what, I mean, she, <laughs> she wasn't just like that. There was that level of personal greed. It was much higher than that because she also must have seen that any controversy caused by her refusal to perform her duties, her sworn duties, would have put her in the limelight, which it did, subsequently did, and, and uh, put her in jail. And she was able to, because she probably, besides an opportunist, has some form of, of uh, martyr complex. And uh, so she's enjoying it, and, and, and <laughs> oh, I, she's I, going I, to prop because at some point in the, in the future, you know, there's going to be some whiny little book that she's going to put out, and she'll be making <laughs> personal talks at, at various churches and civic organizations around the Bible Belt. And uh, it, it's, 
she's gotten herself, and they're probably going to be some kind of like made-for-TV movie for one of the free cable channels now, too. And so you she's right. profit personally. She's gaining some. She's getting an emotional payoff for it, being able to cast herself in the role of a martyr. And a small price to pay to just spend a few days in jail. I mean, what did she get locked up? I think on the third, I believe it was, five, it was five days. But yeah, yeah I absolutely yeah, I agree. This, this lady is enjoying herself. She's having a good old time, and I, I absolutely agree. It's, she's going to take it as far as she can. Yeah, she she still has the job. She's going back to work. Yep. So uh, well, Rob, she, go ahead. She's an elected official, but of course that's by the court and the order. But this is this kind of nonsense has been. It was settled. 50 years ago, 51 years ago, with the Civil Rights Act of 1964. You cannot pick and choose if you are, you, of course, this is the government, even more so for the government, but even open for profit businesses. Everybody complains about the, with the marriage and the wedding cakes and the photographers and all that nonsense. Well, they're open, they're licensed to do business to the general public. Now, if they're a non profit. I'm going to have to say that I think religious freedom uh, at that point oh. trumps. Um, if if somebody opens their you know opens a business, I do think that they have the right to associate with whomever they choose. I agree. And um, as opposed to a government official who's taking a paycheck, which is the amalgamation of the taxes of everybody in their county, they should have to represent everybody in the county. Whereas if a uh, if a um, cake baker says that I don't want to bake cakes for gay weddings, then that's really best for everybody because then you don't get wedding cakes made of sawdust and spit given to the. Uh, oh that way, but it still goes along with the, the fact that they are, cannot refuse public accommodations if they are open to the public in a form. I know what the law system. says, and I'd say the law is wrong in that area. I think that the that one should be able to discriminate um, you know, if, if look, if I don't want to make you a cake, I shouldn't have to make you mm-hmm. a cake, and it shouldn't matter what the reason is. It shouldn't matter whether you're male, or you're uh, the wrong color, or you have the wrong sexual preference, or whatever the reason, I should be able to make that decision because I live in a free country. No, you don't. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the idea. <laughs> hey, Robert, thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate it. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Now, the, these cake controversies where a cake maker will be asked by a, a gay couple to make a cake. The cake maker has some sort of religious objection to it. Uh, they, and by the way, and, and it's not just asked, right? Like, they're targeted. Right. They're demanded to make the cake. and Because then you a, don't a just go brought. and find, you know, if you're a gay couple, you don't just find yourself uh, some committed Christians to go make your cake for you. You, I mean, you know, this list comes out. They, you know, they're you they passed around. You're the ones that want to make the news, the variety of things. I don't see anything particularly wrong with that. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, a, a wedding cake's a very personal thing. Well, what I was going to ask was, I know I'd seen some kind of headline. I thought it was like a California business regulatory board that made the decision against a cake maker. Or am I, or am I misremembering? There have been some of those situations. Has, has there been an actual court I decision can't answer that. I'm sorry. in that area? I, I don't know if I have seen that. If you know for sure... Uh, what the legal status is of being able to discriminate, uh, you know, as far as choosing your customers, because, you know, there are there are definitely um, private clubs, for instance. Right. So, like, there's what is it? The uh, Irish Italian Men's Club or something like that. They yeah. have these things. Right. Yeah. Where you are supposed to be a man in order to join the club. They have clubs and, like that. Yeah. And now most of those clubs are getting torn down. They, now, the women's gyms. No problem there, right? Yeah, like you there's don't a have, good example. You don't have a lot of men trying to get into the women's gyms. Well, I bet you might have some men trying to get in there, but they're not allowed in. It's a women's gym. Well, I, I they have no social currency in that area. Mm-hmm. The women who want to get into the men's golf clubs, they're getting um, you know all kinds of the, the penetration into that area. Whereas the men who wanted to go say to uh, you know some women's gym, where the gals you know they join that gym for a reason. Now, I worked for uh, one of these gyms at one point. A women's gym. I, I worked. For, I worked for the co-ed wing of a women's gym, so I had to, have to deliver some things over there okay. sometimes. And, you know, any guy going in there is looked at, what are you doing in here? Right? Because they mm-hmm. just, they're not comfortable with that. They don't want a guy in their gym. And, and they shouldn't have to have business. one. Exactly. It is their business. I've, and got, I've got that ruling, by the way, before we come back. Right, it yeah. shouldn't matter if they're women or shouldn't matter if they're men and shouldn't matter what the reason is. Absolutely. And a gay baker should be able to refuse uh, religious people cakes, if too. that's what he wants to do. 855-450-FREE. His hair was falling out in clumps. 
our golden retriever, Sundance, scratched incessantly. Mounds and mounds of fur all over the place. Our hairballs have hairballs. Olive was suffering like a dog. She was itching, she was scratching, she was licking 24 hours a day. Just chewing and chewing and chewing. So. Scratching and, and biting. Buddy, my shih tzu's itching problem, constantly licking his feet. It keeps me up at night. And all it took was one container of Dynavite. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. 859-428-1000. The omega-3 fatty acids. Flaxseed, zinc, alfalfa. The digestive enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. The shedding slowed down to almost none. The scratching went away after a few days. Tons of energy. No more bad smell. The shedding has stopped and the itching has stopped. Sleep at night. Oh, let me do it again. Sleep at night. Get your dog some Dynavite. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to produce an endless supply of nano-sized silver solutions right from the convenience of your home. Silver Lungs. With the addition of our unique lung delivery system, respiratory infections are targeted directly, where traditional oral administration simply cannot reach. This pioneering method also also preserves the original particle sizes and delivers your silver solution directly into the bloodstream. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. No way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. Are your Google search results killing you? Unflattering content in blogs, news articles, online reviews, social media, or other sources can jeopardize your reputation, your business, and your livelihood. Let Reputation.com help. Our patented technology will make the truth about you more visible while pushing down unwanted negative content. Improve your Google search results. Call Reputation.com at 1-800-831-0771 for a free consultation. That's 800-831-0771. What would your life be like if you woke up each morning with new vitality, feeling better than you have in years, and you noticed a difference in your sleeping patterns, blood sugar levels, and had a sense of well-being overall? There's something that is changing thousands of people's lives, and you could be one of them. It's called Heart and Body Extract. Sharon Harris, co-creator of Heart and Body Extract, talks about the positive effects of Heart and Body Extract. What happens with the formula Heart and Body Extract is it's giving the body the necessary vitamins, minerals, amino acids, enzymes, and phytonutrients so, so the body will heal itself. And yes, the body does have the ability to balance blood pressure, balance cholesterol, clean and unclog the arteries. It can also work on uh, balancing the circulation for diabetics. So the body is an amazing thing. It simply needs some help so it has the tools to heal itself. Heart and Body Extract gets results. To order your two-month supply, call now, toll-free at 866-295-5305. Order online at hbextract.com. Hi, Pete. Where are you calling from? Uh, where? Pennsylvania. And what do you want to talk about? I want to talk live at uh, both sides of the first transaction. Um, you've got an Amazon banner and can somebody click through the Amazon banner and fulfill a wish list, um, Stand by. to get Stand Bitcoin. By. 3653. That's 877-886-3653. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live, and you can join us here on the radio waves at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you in studio, you've got Ian. And Conan. And Mark. And we're talking about the right to discriminate as a private business. Kim Davis, this uh, court clerk in Rowan County, Kentucky, she doesn't have the right to discriminate. She works for the government, and the government should have a different set of standards as far as, you know, if you're going to force people into this governmental system, you should not be discriminating against them when they come to avail themselves of one of your coerced services. Uh, that makes sense to me. 
but a uh, the right to discriminate should be uh, should be safe for it should be there if you will for the business owner who should be able to t- say no based on whatever reason they want to. Right. If a if a if a white guy comes into a black guy's business and he's got a, a shirt on that says KKK on it or something like that. Yeah, you should be able should to kick him out. Not that black person be able to uh, refuse business not only basically because of his political affiliations or his uh, philosophical beliefs or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, whatever these reasons might be, uh, you know, I think people should be able to do that. If if they if that guy it, same guy could get kicked out of that store or wherever with that establishment because he wasn't wearing shoes, you know why can't that's you? True. That's I mean that's a that's a form of discrimination. Absolutely, you, you were born without shoes. Um, the uh, another thing a lot of people say this has to do with what you were born as is what about a person with Tourette's? If I'm running a uh, you know I don't know Christian reading room and a person with Tourette's wants Start to come shouting and say, uh, curse spend words, spend uh, all day there. Um, should I have to you know <laughs> keep them in there? Can I you know hey you know can you step outside or maybe uh, here's an ice cream go someplace else whatever. You know, yeah. I don't know. It's ridiculous. And so I'd asked the question uh, on the air, what are the court cases? Are there court cases? Because I thought there was this case involving uh, like a regulatory board ruling against a baker in California, but I, I could be misremembering that. Conan, you found a case with an actual court ruling from Colorado, and I want to get to that. But first, let's go to Pete. He's on the line via Skype. Hello, Pete. Tonight. Pete, you're on the air. Go ahead, sir. Hey there. Hey, you getting to hear me now? Yeah, it's a little shoddy, but go ahead. Okay. Uh, yep, it uh, might be so, a little too shoddy. Hey, before we get into the, what I wanted to call about, just on the topic. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go. We'll, we'll give it a shot. I, just, go for it. Okay. Can you hear me better? Yeah, not really, but go ahead. Okay. So what I wanted to say was, um, right now on the uh, Free Talk Live homepage, there's a banner for Amazon and. In the past, people would be able to click through that banner and buy products on Amazon, and Free Talk Live would get a small amount from that from that purchase. I don't know what what you guys have negotiated. Yeah, you but that, that, now we're that, pushing. Free, that link now, is shop.freetalklive.com. That's right. Right, and so now you guys have been pushing purse for about a month and a half now. Seems like a great idea, but is there anything stopping somebody from going when they want to buy? Uh, get some uh, Bitcoin on the other side of the purse transaction, can they go through that Amazon link and fulfill somebody's wish list on the, uh, via purse so they receive Bitcoin and you guys still get a piece of that transaction? I think in theory that would be possible. I mean, how likely that would be, I, I don't know. So what you're referring to is saveitpurse.com allows people to purchase things at a severe discount with using Bitcoin. And that means that somebody on the other end of the transaction is actually buying the thing for that person who wants to uh, get rid of their Bitcoins, ultimately in exchange, uh, exchanging that item for the Bitcoins. So the person is paying the full Amazon price. So yes, in theory, if the person who was the buyer of the Bitcoins on Purse uh, wanted to go through the Free Talk Live affiliate link, I think that they could probably do that. Okay. Hey, uh, just on the topic you guys are uh, discussing tonight about um, the right to discriminate, um, one thing that's um, been going on, I don't know if you guys have seen, but university, some minority university students have been pushing for safe spaces, essentially the right to segregate themselves. Um, kind of seems like what uh, comes around goes around. It's kind of fun, kind of funny. So Thanks, I've heard Pete. of things Appreciate like um, black proms and these sorts of things. This is like, you know, when you go to a school that has a certain number of black students or whatever, they want to have their own prom hmm. um, in, in some places. I'm not saying everybody would want to do this, but it it's really weird, right? Like when, um, you know, when the majority group wants to say you can't participate in our uh, uh, organizations and our functions, then it's discrimination. <laughs> but what is it when the minority group doesn't want, uh, you know, what doesn't want to participate? This is just all so ridiculous. So Conan, uh, what was the story out of Colorado that you found? So I don't know if this is the same uh, cake shop, but uh, it, it seems to have all of the the same, I feel like there's same, been more this, than all one. the same similarities. The uh, the the two cu- the couple's name is David Mullins and Charlie Craig. They went to a cake shop called Masterpiece Cake Shop in Colorado. Uh, the uh, the the owner said he wasn't going to make them their cake, uh, so they of course took them to court. 
because I think that these that's what these guys were after and from the from the get go. Sounds like it. Because um, if you just wanted a cake, you'd go find someone else to make your cake. Oh, so, yeah, someone who you yeah, it's it's like a family thing. It's like you don't go to some it you don't go to Walmart to get your damn uh, wedding cake. You go to someone who you, you know, someone who you trust, and it, and it becomes he, they, they, the wedding planner and the wedding cake designer and all that they become a part of the wedding hmm. so to, for these guys to go to someone who they already probably didn't like because of their disagreement on, on what sexual orientations are allowed uh makes me think that uh, no this whole thing was a setup but uh, and so here the guy says uh, being denied service by masterpiece cake shop was offensive and dehuman de- dehumanizing uh, excuse, excuse me dehumanizing uh, dehumanizing especially in the midst of uh, arranging what should be a joyful family celebrations Said right. Mullins. You should not be able to be told no by yeah, any no, business. No one should fear being turned away from public business because of who they are. We are grateful to have the support of our community and our state, and we hope that today's decision will help ensure that no one else will experience this kind of discrimination again in Colorado. Colorado has a Who wrote this? A judge? No, this is the actual guy. This is one of the one of the one of the oh, gays. This is the attorney. Okay. So one of the plaintiffs. Long-standing Colorado state law prohibits public accommodations, including uh, including businesses such as Masterpiece Cake Shop, from refusing service based on factors such as race, sex, marital status, or sexual orientation. Um, so, yeah, wow. they uh, because of that law, uh, they had a case, and uh, I can't find the actual ruling, but uh, yeah, the uh, cake shop lost. Yeah. So that's terrible. Uh, you know, I absolutely it wouldn't bother me at all to be involved in a gay wedding. But I think that people you know, I think the freedom of religion gives people the choice as to whether or not they wish to. And frankly, I think it should be freedom of philosophy, the right of conscience, the right of conscience. Yeah, I think that's uh, just just fine. Um, and also what we need to know, what we need to do here is uh, look you don't think the gay guys can talk to their gal friends and destroy a cake maker's business? Mm-hmm. I mean, these people need to be brought down through the marketplace. That's a good point. If a cake maker wants to have a niche where they just supply cakes to uh, evangelical Christians, well, good luck keeping that, uh, that market niche. Here's a suggestion for uh, people out there who want to discriminate in this manner and are finding themselves worried about being in hot water. Just keep your damn mouth shut about your reasons for not wanting to make the cake. You, you don't have to tell somebody. Somebody comes right. in, John and Jim come in and they say, I want to get a cake for our our wedding. Sorry, I don't have time. You, you say, I'm booked up, booked right. up solid. Right, and this is what it comes down to is, is that all you've done with this lawsuit is drive underground the bigotry that you were trying yeah. to expose in the first place. And it makes everybody feel better. There's people <laughs> listening right now. They're so upset. And it, you know what? I don't care about your stinking feelings. Although I guess you're right, Mark. Saying I don't have time for that would be the best answer. Not saying you don't have any time or whatever, because you could also like send a couple in right after that and try to order a, a sure. heterosexual cake. And Can't then... fit into my schedule. But but yeah. this is very similar to the Kim Davis uh, uh, issue. She she likes what she's doing. She I, I she this is something that she can put on her social media when she gets home. Out she's out of jail. She can go and just, oh yeah, she's a hero. She, she's a, she's in the spotlight and she's proven her point. Uh, and uh, and and she's representing her faith. And I'm sure this cake guy was was he was under the same impression. He goes on to say that he wouldn't make a cake for two dogs. Or oh yeah, it's or, a, I or, love or, I love or, when he, he, would, he he wouldn't make a cake for a pedophile or something. But yeah, he, thanks. so. Yeah, I, I don't really, you know, whatever the reasons are. Here's here's what I'm trying to imagine, though. If they sent in um, somebody, after I say, I, I can't fit into my schedule, they sent somebody in afterwards, and I can fit them into my schedule, I wonder what um, would be said. I mean, I could just as easily say, oh, I had a cancellation that amount of time. Uh, you whatever. You, I mean, this is the difficulty. But I would imagine most people who are sort of booked up, the same way a restaurant will let a famous Hollywood person have a seat. They'll find a table right, for them. Right, they'll find a yeah. table for them, whereas there weren't, wasn't a table before. They'll bump them up in the line. Right. No one seems to have a particular problem with that. Essentially, if somebody's willing to pay more or whatever. That's well, because you don't really know, right? Like, if you go in and they tell you, we don't have room for you, and you turn around and leave, you don't know if they just let in uh, James, the James Bond actor. But if you're right? standing in line, then the James Bond actor comes up. What's the new, yeah. what's the, 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 the uh, There's some new guy. The soccer player. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You should never have me. Uh, 855 450 free your comments on discrimination and if you curse on the air we're going to discriminate against you and hang up on you it's free talk live 
When the leading antihistamine and Nasacort go nose to nose, Nasacort wins, stopping more of the chemical responses that can cause your nasal allergy symptoms. And when you stop more causes, you get 24 hour relief from sneezing, an itchy runny nose, even congestion. It's prescription strength medicine available over the counter. Nasacort Allergy 24 hour stops more of what makes you miserable. Uses directed. There comes a time when you need custom embroidered or screen printed apparel for your business, organization, or a special event. Corporate Casuals has been helping people create great looking logoed apparel for over 25 years. They can produce a single piece or thousands using name brand apparel like Nike, Patagonia, Adidas, and Hanes. Create your logo in their online embroidery design studio or upload your existing logo and they'll turn it into embroidery. Go to corporatecasuals.com slash FTL and include FTL in the order notes and save 5% on your order. Quantitative easing, unemployment at depression levels, Europe financial system falling apart, China getting out of U.S. treasuries. At the end of 2008, the time of TARP, the national debt was at 11 trillion gold, trading around $850 per ounce. Close to 2012, the national debt exceeded 16.4 trillion, gold doubled to $1,600 per ounce. The 20 trillion threshold for the national debt is inevitable. Politicians in Washington have a ferocious appetite for spending and stimulus. What's worse, a printing press to finance. A hundred years ago, we had a gold standard to limit this madness, but now you have to adopt your own gold standard. Don't be fooled with paper promises. Get Midas Resources 10 Reasons to Buy Gold free by calling 800-686-2237. Understanding the gold and silver market may be the only insurance you could have to avoiding the next economic crisis. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order your free copy. Again, that's 800-686-2237. Davis to jail for five days. Set her free. You're listening to GCN, the world leader in independent talk radio. Licenses. What will she do? Jerika Duncan is in great Breaking news this hour from townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. The Kentucky County Clerk jailed for refusing to issue marriage licenses to homosexual couples was released today. Kim Davis got out of jail with a warning from a judge not to interfere with deputy clerks issuing licenses to same-sex couples. Davis expressed her gratitude to thousands of supporters waiting for her outside the jail. I just want to give his God the glory. He is, his people have people. rallied and you are a strong people. At times, Kim Davis is released. But Davis's lawyer is refusing to say whether she would defy Marriage the courts again. Republican presidential candidate Mike Huckabee says the Supreme Court can't sacrifice religious Huckabee. rights for the sake the of homosexual marriage. Five unelected lawyers think liberty. that they but can rule. We're here to say in no, jail. they can't. Can I volunteer to go? Let the White House go. says it is gratified that enough senators have announced support for the Iran the nuclear deal to block a resolution of disapproval in the Congress. The spokesman says the Obama administration hopes the 41 senators who have announced support will take steps to keep Congress from undermining the agreement. The former Vice President Dick Cheney says the Iran nuclear deal is dangerous to the U.S. and its allies. They have presented us with a deal that strengthens our adversaries, threatens our allies, puts our own security at risk. They have placed on the table for congressional review a deal that provides weapons and funds to a regime that has pledged to destroy Israel and maintain its death to America as a central pillar. A former vice president spoke at the American Enterprise Institute. A former Episcopal bishop in Baltimore has pleaded guilty to manslaughter, drunken driving, and leaving the scene at which he killed a cyclist. Under an agreement with prosecutors, the state will ask a judge next month to sentence Heather Cook to 10 years in prison. Cook, 58, entered her pleas the day before her trial was scheduled to start. Street up by 350 points, the Nasdaq rose 128. More on these stories at townhall.com. There are still questions lingering about whether those marriage licenses I don't like sit-down dinners, I don't go to sit-down strikes. I like standing room only, and I don't ride bikes. This pretty bad song is by a guy with pretty bad hemorrhoids. He needs Preparation H relief with a power of two. First, use fast-acting Preparation H medicated wipes, then longer-lasting Preparation H maximum strength cream. Let's sit together on the porch swing. Preparation H. Don't stand. And for hemorrhoids. Use is directed. And try specially formulated medicated wipes for women. For a lifetime. 
Got a lot on your to-do list? Now, during Kubota's Power To Do Great Things sales event, get a great deal on an L3301 or 3901 tractor with a live, continuous running rear PTO. Now get financing as low as 0% APR for up to five years and great customer instant rebates when you buy a new L3301 or 3901 and two implements. Now through September 30th, 2015. Call toll-free 1-888-465-8268 for details about cost and terms. For more information or to find a participating dealer, visit Kubota.com. Britain's shadow home secretary, Yvette Cooper, says European nations need help to deal with the ongoing refugee crisis. Our hearts Herman, and our heads should both be telling us that we need to respond to the scale of this crisis because it is not going away. And simply because we cannot help everyone doesn't mean we should help no one. We should do our bit. Cooper urges the British government to take in more refugees than it has already committed to. The Prime Minister said yesterday that he would help up to 20,000 refugees over the five-year parliament. But the crisis is now. And helping 4,000 refugees this year isn't enough. Meanwhile, the Obama administration is not opening America's doors to large numbers of Syrian and other refugees arriving by the thousands each day in Europe. Administration officials appointed the billions of dollars of humanitarian aid provided by the U.S. News and analysis at townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. And war-torn countries like Syria. The State Department says it a will likely increase the number of Syrian refugees able to enter the United States. A report in the New York Times says Democratic presidential frontrunner Hillary Clinton's personal email server hosted two top secret emails. Details from correspondent Linda Kenyon. The report says the Special aid. Intelligence President Review concludes Obama the messages held the nation's highest classification of government month. intelligence morning, when the former Secretary of State received them in 2009 and 2011. The New York Times reports one of the messages contains information about North Korea's nuclear program. The review was conducted by the CIA and the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency and echo similar conclusions by the State Department's Inspector General. Multiple polls show voter concerns about Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server have been gradually eroding support for her 2016 presidential campaign. The parents of Freddie Gray have reached a tentative $6.4 million settlement with the city of Baltimore nearly five months after their son was critically injured in police custody. More at townhall.com. By now, you know the smart way to buy emergency food storage is calories per dollar. Ready Supply Foods sells you 50% more food for your money. GMO-free, 25-year shelf life, great tasting, and free shipping. You need 2,000 calories per day under ideal conditions. Most 30-day kits don't have enough calories to sustain you for more than a week. They just don't have enough nutrition to do the job. See the comparisons for yourself at ReadySupplyFoods.com. We're the new leader in value and quality. Go to ReadySupplyFoods.com today. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm, a principal officer used in Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24 7. Call 800 261 0937. That's 800 261 Trip, he dreams of the day. Free Talk Live. This is Free Talk Live, and you can join us here. Toll free numbers 855 450 free. That's 855-450-3733, and we've got Skype as well. The Skype username tonight is lrn.fm. Joining you in studio, you have Ian. And Conan. And Mark. And uh, so you're still welcome to comment on Kim Davis, uh, but also schools. Conan, you brought a story in tonight about the so-called safest school in America. This is actually a video report from NBC's Today Show. Uh, Jeff Rossin is their investigative correspondent. I actually met Jeff Rossin. He was the guy who did the piece about Robin Hood of Keene right. over the summertime here uh, in Keene, New Hampshire. So uh, I guess we'll just jump right into this video here about the so-called safest school in America. And I guess you can tell us if this sounds good to you. Would you want your son or daughter 
attending this government school. Back now, 7.40 on this Tuesday morning. We've got the start of a special Rawson Report series called School Danger Zone. First up, what some call the safest school in America uses state-of-the-art technology to protect kids. How does it work, and should your child's school have it? Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson got some exclusive access. He's got the story this morning. Jeff, good morning. Hey, guys, good morning to you. We're all parents here. I'm sending my girls back to school this week, and... So in behind Jeff and his intro piece here, there's a chalkboard with the Today Show logo. Rawson Reports is the name of his little subsegment. And then underneath it says School Danger Zone, like mm. it's written in chalk. With, with Yeah, with colored chalk. Yeah. All the letters are different colors. It's so <laughs> kidsy. It's so fear-mongering. And of course, this guy has girls, and he's, take, he's sending them to school, and he has absolutely no problem with what he's about to uh, uncover. I bet he doesn't. Here we go. I like to think that they're safe inside, but you see another school shooting, and it does scare you. In many schools, an attacker can walk right in the front door and do massive damage in just minutes. But at this school, they are are going to extremes using a brand new high-tech security system lights sirens even doors that can stop a bullet but that's not all <laughs> this school has a secret weapon that would literally stop an intruder in his tracks class is in session in suburban indiana and this intruder just got in roaming the halls security breach but this school is ready <laughs> and the suspect you're killing me never sees okay, so it coming it is. The popping noise that you're hearing there are these smoke bombs that are kind of in the ceiling where you might expect to see, you know, uh, the little uh, fire extinguisher fire things, right? Uh, fire smoke, detectors? Right. Well, fire extinguishers is what you okay. would expect to see in this place. Okay. Maybe a detector as well. So, but so the water sprinklers are right next to the smoke, the smoke, uh, the bombs. smoke bombs, right next to the cameras, right next to the light. So the whole, the whole ceiling is just nothing but electronics. Yep. A big surprise you've never seen at a school. Southwestern High School could be the safest school in America. These bullet-resistant doors and cameras, so many cameras everywhere. And it's not just school officials watching either. They're connected live with the sheriff's department 10 miles away. Jesus Authorities Christ. can track an intruder in real time. Used to be that education was the number one thing that schools did. Now we're spending all of our money on security. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's not well, so it's not just the daycare any longer. Now, <laughs> and why is it the safest? Uh, why is it the safest uh, facility in the U.S.? Because it's more like a prison every mm -hmm. single day. That's another very safe uh, establishment. Keeps, yep. keeps them in. There it's, were a lot of cameras in, in jail when I was in jail. It's a government welfare babysitting services service. And the reason that they put, um, the reason that they're targets is because there's so many kids in them. If they're, you know, if there's a lot of kids. They're and they're gun free target. zones. Yep. So, I mean, if you want, and on top of that, you've got, you've got programs like this who emphasize, hey, crazy people, if you want to get on the news, all you got to do is go shoot up a bunch of kids at, at a school with no guns, with no uh, no, uh, no gun defense, and hey, we're gonna talk the crap out of you for a long for time. a long time. Share your thoughts here at eight fifty five four fifty free. More with Dr. Paula Maurer. That's who he's interviewing here. Now we need to keep our students safe first. Teachers play a huge role. <laughs> that's I, I swear, man. That is one of the most revealing, ridiculous statements that this lady could possibly make. And you know, she totally deadpans it. Oh yeah, education used to be our priority, but now safety is what we're concerned it's with. It's all about keeping your kids alive <laughs> while you got while you parents are off work, uh, paying the taxes to pay right. for our programs. They won't be able to read when we get done with them, but, but they'll, be, they'll alive. be alive. Just remember, they try to keep the they try to keep prisoners safe too. Too. Every teacher here, you have your own panic button. Yeah, we all wear a fob <laughs> in case there's a security breach. We can push this button and the entire alarm system goes off in the school. And something else I actually want to show you real quick. When that happens, every classroom has a box like this also hooked up to the sheriff's department. The teacher can flip help if they actually see the suspect and they're in danger, or they can flip safe if the kids are safe. So what would you do if there was an active shooter here right now? Security breach. God, I see all the kids get the up. Line. What is that? The red line is a security measure. They're and turning. That's in place because if we stand behind <laughs> this red line, if there's a shooter at the door, they cannot see the children. All right. So that so the door, all the doors are locked, but there's a blind spot if someone's looking in the front door window, and if they get behind this red line, 
they're safe. But of course, they're flipping their chairs up. And, they are and literally bu- flipping their bunkering up. So they got these, uh, not just the, the chairs, right? So they have those chair desk things mm-hmm. where the chair is actually attached to the flat top desk. Yeah. Uh, they're flipping those things on their side. They're then gathering in the back. They're all gathering in the back of the room. They they make a line of the desks, sort of like a, uh, like a, a bunker. Pro- a, a, a supposedly protect them with these picket. desks. He's got a picket. They've got a picket line. Yeah. And then and then and then the they craziest, actually. This is the craziest part. They're all the, <laughs> hunched over like they're like this like a nuclear blast is about to go off, and they've got their books in front of their faces <laughs> like i don't know it's, it's maybe, ridiculous maybe, maybe it's going to deter the shooter if they if the shooter can't see him in the eyes that he won't uh, shoot him or something I, I don't know maybe the book the thick uh school book here would actually it looks like an american history textbook uh maybe it would actually stop like a 22 or something like that i, I would think that it would well what yeah. if they're in the class and all they have are the little paperback uh they're reading uh uh Kill a mockingbird or something. Uh, but they just got a workbook, you know, just a <laughs> yeah. hundred-page uh, workbook. I do, now everybody remembers this. If you went to government school, you remember the stupid drills that they had you do. And down in the, Florida, the, the fire drills. They, the well, fi- fire the, drills make sense, but the, we we do those at work as well. Sure. Now the fire fire drills actually did make sense. You leave the classroom in the fire drill. But I meant like the the uh, the tornado drill or the nuclear attack drill or whatever, where you know you're supposed to hide under the desk mm-hmm. as though that's going to somehow protect you from fallout or radiation well, i think it's or, i think in that case it's just breaking glass because yeah if the, if the roof comes down nothing is going to save you uh, your stupid little desk is right, not going to save you. that tornado is going to suck you right out through that roof <laughs> and your desk well um it, it might make some sense to uh, get underneath something if uh you know if if there's a tornado or something like that but now they're literally cowering in the back of the classroom holding a book up to uh, to their head i mean just how ridiculous must they feel Going through this, and further having to go through it on camera for the Today Show. I mean, well, I feel sorry for these. Well, kids. these these are all young minds, and they're they're jumping too. They're jumping through these hoops. I don't think that uh, I don't think they're thinking about that. You might be right, Conan. Because I think they grew up with this stuff. Th- right? This is this is another this is just another level of indoctrination, and they are oh, going to be the next generation of of uh, status. Well, sheeples that uh, go along to get along and have no problem with going through scanners and getting all touched and feeled on. It's it's amazing that uh, you know this is this is this is the next generation right here. Let me continue with the video here. And if you are in the the younger generation, you can comment on this. I mean, I I I still it's hard for me to believe that these kids would not feel absolutely ridiculous just cowering with a book to protect them from some guy with a gun. Before we before we hit the play button, the last thing I had to deal with with my daughter being in the public schools. She just graduated the, she, recently. Well, she didn't. Uh, she she decided that she was ready to move on. Oh, good for her. So she's she's out there doing her thing. But uh, no, uh, I found out uh, years after it actually was implemented, um, I took her to school one day, dropped her off, and we were late. Where she was she was a couple minutes late, and I'm sitting there at the desk, and I'm like, Hey, do I have to do anything special? I have to sign anything or anything like that? And she's like, Oh no, we're just going to get her thumbprint. <laughs> and I'm I'm like, w- 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 What? And he, the lady pulls out a little uh, electronic thumb scanner and holds it out. Sashi puts her thumb down, and boop, she's in the system. Yes. And uh, they were, and they were just so that was so they had these in all the classrooms. And so if anyone was late, that they just they had every, all the thumbprints were on on record. And when I was just leaving up out They'll of never Tennessee, turn that over the government, they were putting them on the buses. So uh, yeah, they're uh, just like prisons. 855 450 freeze our number here more on the so-called safest school in america are you feeling safe yet 855 450 free it's free talk live every once in a while you get information that's worth changing your life for this is one such time you can save up to and beyond 25 percent on all purchases at amazon you probably heard of bitcoin and just not thought much about it You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now, don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 
25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. That's the sound your brain makes when you realize you're buying something and forgot the coupon. Online or in a store, knowing that you're missing a deal is the worst. You need the app from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code UPDATE to 42767. Then just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupon in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's UPDATE to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. So I say to Mark at lunch, look, you know, I keep hearing from the government that, you know, they're worried someday ISIS may get here. And I go, Doug, uh, Garland, Texas, Muhammad cartoon shooting, ISIS is already here. I'm not waiting for these people to defend me. I, if they don't know ISIS is here already, they got no clue, I'm taking care of myself. Guns80.com, AR-15 kits, 30-shot magazines, great prices. They've even got the Hillary special. Guns80.com, that's 844-2-GUNS-80, guns80.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Are your Google search results killing you? Unflattering content in blogs, news articles, online reviews, social media, or other sources can jeopardize your reputation, your business, and your livelihood. Let Reputation.com help. Our patented technology will make the truth about you more visible while pushing down unwanted negative content. Improve your Google search results. Call Reputation.com. At 1 800 831 0771 for a free consultation. That's 800 831 0771. Now, more free talk live. Call in toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 free. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll free here. Join us on the airwaves. At 855-450 free. Would you want to be part of this safest school in America? Would you want your son or daughter to be going to this place where it is super overprotected to the level of absolute laughability? Uh, that's what we're watching here. I a, want my children to live, Ian. It's a clip I, from I don't Today want News. some nut gunman coming in and just taking away my children's life from them. I'd say your best bet is to keep them out of the government school. I agree. If you want that to happen. No. I mean, if you really care about your kids' safety and their well-being, you probably should figure out a way to not send them to government school. I would say, even, and even if you don't even teach them anything, maybe just, you know, to read, I'm going to think that your kids would uh, be, be happier. Uh, Absolutely. So unschooling, now, now if they're just yeah. Let them figure it out. I, you know, uh, so I've looked into this. I do the, uh, um, I do the Homes parent directed do homeschool. homeschooling, parent directed learning. We call it. We don't have a particular curriculum. Cur- curriculum, excuse me. Um, and what I've looked into this, and what they say is, is that if you taught your child nothing, as Ton- Conan says, I don't advocate that. But if you taught, no, 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 if you, I, no, I don't either. But that's, but I'm saying, you would probably still be better off if you do nothing. Then, um, on average. The government school will provide them with one grade level higher, uh, you know, <laughs> le- level of learning than they would on their 18th birthday. 
So for the, and I don't know what it is, let's just call it $10,000 for 13, a year for 13 years for $130,000, they are able to elevate your child's level of learning one grade level at the age of 18. That is miserable. I mean, that's just how awful it is. Now, at this point, I, I could I could probably not teach my kid <laughs> anything, and I've already taught him enough about learning that he would be above the, the their grade level um, already. Obviously, we won't do that. But I, I, I think the best move we've made in our lives is choosing to take our child's education into our hands. Mm. If you care about your privacy while you're on the Internet, you need ProXPN. It's a virtual private network, and they encrypt your online data before it reaches your internet service provider. ProXPN does it all right, offering the Open VPN, the gold standard of network encryption. They've got apps for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, plus there's Linux support as well. And unlike those other guys, ProXPN keeps no logs of your activities whatsoever. ProXPN also has more servers than ever before all around the globe, giving you greater speed and security, plus they'll take your credit card and even Bitcoin. You can get 50% off of the regular monthly price for the lifetime of your account when you buy an annual account with our code FTL50. That's FTL like Free Talk Live and 50, as in 50% off. It can end up being cheaper per month than a good cup of coffee. You keep hearing about your online privacy being infringed, so go to ProXPN.com right now and use code FTL50 to take back the privacy that is your right. As we go back to NBC's Today Show, investigative correspondent Jeff Rossin uh, at Southwestern High School in Indiana, where they are being called the so-called safest school in America, he's showing some of the measures that they're using. There's apparently some sort of secret thing as well. Uh, some some of the measures they're using ostensibly to protect these students. So we'll continue here. The teacher, for those of you just tuning in, the teacher in one of the classes is being interviewed by Rawson, and she shows basically one some sort of necklace with this electronic device on it with the, a button. It's a yeah, pan the, panic button. Yeah, yeah, the same thing as the, oh, if I fall and I can't get up. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing, yeah. So here we go. And and so they're demonstrating now, the students are going to demonstrate the protocol when there is one of these emergency alerts. Security breach. I see they're all running past this red line. What is that? The red line is a security measure, and that's in place because if we stand behind this red line, if there's a shooter at the door, they cannot see the children. And this is something schools can do right now. There's a red line on the ground. Absolutely. <laughs> the school now <laughs> red on line. full lockdown. But if a real suspect was roaming the halls, could the system really stop him? The school letting us test it. I'm playing the intruder. Showing a male subject in a blue suit. Officers watching my every move. Remember, they're miles away. If I was a real intruder, I couldn't get into a single classroom. They're all locked. Every last one of them. But That's the a pretty good idea. Counter this is true. Is yet to come. To that lock the door? That, that doesn't cost... Automatic locking doors? Okay. That's a pretty good idea if you've got an intruder situation. Yeah, sure. He's walking towards exit 14. I'm going to launch the hot zone. Unless there's a fire. Zone. Unless the intruder sets the fire to the building. The secret <laughs> weapon called hot zones. Exploding smoke cannons hidden in the ceiling. Cops can deploy them in an instant. Whoa. There is smoke. It is loud and it's meant to disorient the suspect. I mean, look at this. The smoke is filling the hallway. You can barely even see me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> now the fire alarm is going off, too. All right, so the smoke in the hallway seems like a good idea, right? Like, I don't know. If the guy is set on uh, shooting students, if he can't see the, the students to shoot them, then that might mean he might miss some more of his shots, right? Like if there are students in the hallway, he then has to fire wildly rather than uh, you know being able to aim his sounds, shots. Sounds okay, yeah. Except this is being monitored uh, by the police, by the sheriffs who are 10 miles away, are they actually going to know what's going on and be able to respond in a timely manner? I'm thinking they're going to see something go down, and it's going to be 20, 30 seconds before they're like, oh, hey, there's something going on. We better do something. Uh, I don't think they're going to catch on because they're controlling. This isn't automatic. This isn't. It doesn't. It, they aren't going to go off when someone starts shooting a gun. Well, yeah, there's not somebody sitting there watching it all day, right? Like there's got to well, be some sort of alert that. that well, hits they're going to have. They're going to have to hire someone to sit there and watch it all day. And I'm just saying, there's going to be a lot of human error involved. And yeah. I, don't th I don't think a human's going to be able to watch a uh, hundred plus cameras no and be able to pick up on a shooting. So, 
Conan, you know, you're right. There, uh, there are some problems with this system, and they don't want to describe what those are to the parents. They just want to tell them about all the money oh, that they've no, spent. Oh, they, no, they, 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 this, is, this is being sold to this school. Uh, we're going to get to this in a second. It's all being right. sold by a security uh, uh, firm who, yeah, who wants their money. Well, they and made the sale. It's a done deal, right? They just want to sell it to more schools, I imagine. They actually they actually chipped in a little bit so they can actually implement this new uh, this new system in this school. Well, yeah, I mean, you want to display. You want to model home, as mm-hmm. it were. I see. Um, so so uh, the other thing I was going to say, though, is if the shooter can't see the kids, that also means the police can't see the shooter, right? So, so if a teacher pushes a panic button, um, then you essentially have... What dozens and dozens of people of people who have control over locking these doors? Likely, whoever's running the the thing gets the panic panic button uh, call and then locks the doors until yeah. They who decides out. if well, the doors are locked and what happens if a student's outside of the locked doors? Oh, yeah. sorry, Tommy, but no, I, 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 <laughs> students pounding on the door. Let me in. The I, hall pass actually generates a force field. <laughs> Not yet, but soon, All soon, right. Mark. Here's but yeah, but the the, the idea of having uh, being able to lock the doors. Uh, yeah. This is just like this is the whole uh, cabin, uh, the uh, cab, the airplane cabin uh, argument. That if they were able to lock their doors, you know, nine eleven never would have happened. Uh, that it was actually implemented, so that was a good idea. Uh, and you know, and having armed, they do have armed uh, uh, sheriffs or what do they call themselves? On Federally, the some but, federal. Uh, oh God, I forget what they're called. Are you talking, talking about school agents. resource officers? No, I'm talking about, talking about the planes. Uh, other security measures that uh, that uh, you know other facilities have had to air marshals. Yeah, air yeah, marshals. There, go. there we go. Uh, so we're going to play more of this audio here from the video track on today news. Jeff Rawson reporting on the so-called safest school in America. Does this kind of thing make you feel good? And maybe there are parents out there who are like, yes, we need to have this. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, no matter the cost. This is fear-mongering. 855-450-3733. If it doubles the taxes, is it worth it? I mean, it probably wouldn't do that. But no ma- is it no matter the cost? 855-450 free or join us on Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. We, we, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of level 3 and level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival LLC. Dot, dot, dot com. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order, KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KDArmor.com. Come and take it. Hi, my name is Scott Fuchs, teacher and rowing coach for over 14 years. I was sluggish, overweight, on prescription drugs, and only 30-something. Fortunately, I was referred to Dr. Z, and happy to say Dr. Z's all-natural protocols over a consistent course resolved my health issues. I'm in the best shape of my life, and most importantly, on zero medications. I'm Dr. Zdanowski, author of Evology. Trained as a primary care physician, surgical manipulation under anesthesia, Expert in nutrition, diet, weight loss, immune system, and I specialize in chiropractic. My 15 years of professional experience has taught me the four keys to vibrant health, a balanced muscular skeletal system, an integrated nervous system, a flowing lymphatic system, and a body filled with over 90 essential nutrients. This has been a secret too long. Actualize your potential, reverse disease. Call me, Dr. Z. 201-945-1177, 201-945-1177, evolveyourself.com. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. 
Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let Gravity do the work, helping muscles rebalance and start releasing nerves. Sit in the sacro wedgie at the computer or while traveling to help correct posture to finally help relieve those stubborn aches and pains for only $33.95. It's made in the USA, so click the family-owned website at sacrowedgie.com, spelled S-A-C-R-O-W-E-D-G-Y.com, or call 1-800-737-9295. That's 1-800-737-9295. Relax your back pain away with the sacro wedgie. Okay, open your mouth and say, ah. Ah. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to sayahnow.com. Sayahnow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Yeah! Oh, yeah, it's Free Talk Live, and you can join the show toll-free. Let's bring up anything at 855-450-FREE. If you want to join us here, 855-450-3733. Are you feeling safe yet? If you're just tuning in, then you've missed the uh, about half of the video. We're going to go through the rest of it here. Got about another two minutes to go in the Rotson reports from today, uh, NBC's Today Show. He's their investigative correspondent. He went to Southwestern High School in suburban Indiana, a school that some are calling the so-called safest school in America. It's got all kinds of safety features like uh, an alarm system that a teacher can hit from a pendant that is uh, she's wearing on her at all times. Every teacher has one of these. The students then are using textbooks to try to protect themselves from, <laughs> from the, the shooter's bullets. And they're flipping desks over. They're gathering in the back of the class so they can't be seen from the window. When will the school school uniforms be bulletproof? That's the what I want to know. Doors are being locked automatically. They're smoke bombs, basically. These smoke devices that the police can, can use from a remote location to fill the hallways full of smoke, thereby uh, preventing the shooter from seeing anything. But it would seem that would also prevent the uh, shooter from being seen by the police as well. So I think there's kind of a... Two sides to that particular coin. So yeah, there goes your uh, your your video evidence right down the tubes. So. Well, not just that, but I mean, if the cops are surrounding the school and trying to come in there, uh, I mean, maybe if they had some sort of infrared cameras, they could then see through that smoke. But I don't know. I well, don't that'll, know if that that'll be the it. that'll be the next uh, development. Is hey, we've An we, we've used uh, our smoke devices and found that uh, we can't see anything afterwards. We're going to need some infrared cameras to help prevent that from happening. So Rawson's in the hallway right now in this video. We're going to continue it. It's full, uh, filled full of smoke. But I also want you to know about Bitcoinist.net. It is the ultimate resource for Bitcoin industry news, reviews, education, and the latest in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. They've got breaking Bitcoin and digital currency news, a community forum. Plus, they're covering fintech and blockchain tech news. And Bitcoinist has very sophisticated Bitcoin network statistics, a solid beginner's guide to Bitcoin, and more. Their platform serves the needs of everyone looking to keep up with Bitcoin and digital currencies from beginners to experts, just go to Bitcoinist.net. That's Bitcoin, I-S-T, Bitcoinist.net. As we continue with Rossin reports from the Southwestern High School, again, he's in the hallway. It's filled with smoke, and that's where we're picking up this audio here. I'm telling you, you can't see two feet in front of you. What's key here is that they're doing this remotely. They can set this off based on where the suspect is. The other amazing thing is they're watching the suspect on real-time cameras. So no matter where the suspect goes, they can keep setting off these hot zones so he stays blind. This is a game changer. We now can keep kids safe in schools. We didn't have the ability to do that before. We have it now. 
told you it's intense. Security doesn't come cheap, by the way. That system mm, suit to nuts, mm. co nuts cost $400,000. This is a test school in Indiana, so the security company donated a big chunk of it. Then they got a government grant to cover the of rest. Course. But the superintendent said if schools can afford stadiums and uniforms, they can afford this. Yeah, I'm all for technology. Well, you know, that's a fair argument, right? Like, if you can afford a stadium, you can afford a, a security system. I, I, I mean, I can well, see that point. I, I'm going to say that a lot of these schools can't afford their stadiums because their money is being just dumped right down the drain to pay for to pay these unionized labor laborers, the mm. teachers and the, uh, the, the, the lawn mowers and the bus drivers and the crossing guard ladies. I mean, these people are sucking it right down. They don't have money for uniforms. I, well, mean, I mean, look here in our own area. I mean, they, they have to come uh, and actually add on, tack on extra little measures onto the budget. It's like, oh, hey, by the way, uh, we're increasing the budget by a couple percent, but uh, can't, we need another 100000 for for uniforms. Well, knowing the schools, they're not going to forego a stadium either, right? They're going to get their stadium, and they're going to get the security and if they can system. And if they can get a government handout to do it, they're going to do that as well. They're going to get that grant, or they're going to try to anyways. I don't know what it's like in other schools, but uh, when I was going to public school, we ran a fundraiser, and we got our stadium. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was called Ball Van Stadium, named after the guy Mr. Who, Ball Van. Yeah, the, the guy who paid the most money to put it together or the construction crew and or whatever it was. that seems to be the way to go, right? Like, you know, go to the parents if the parents want to chip in to this. And well, it was pathetic. We didn't have our own stadium. We were the only, you mm -hmm. know how many high schools there were in town. There were four high schools in town. Three high schools had stadiums. Ours didn't. Mm -hmm. And once our stadium was done, it was still pathetic, right? <laughs> like, they all had nice stadiums and we had this thing that was sort of like a bunch of aluminum bleachers and a flat piece of ground. <laughs> and that's all right. I mean, the fact is, is that from what I can recall, nobody got charged anything for it so that's okay. you know it's a win and, and by the way they start off four hundred thousand for this security uh setup right it's only going up from there once once they get their foot in the uh, foot in the door uh and they become a part of the market they can start to take that price to any level yeah. that they want and was it, and that it, and the it, subsidized price though or is that the the price tag that almost sounds like it's the subsidized price because when i heard four hundred thousand, i thought that seems a little on the cheap side that does sound a little this. cheap i mean when they when yeah. they're yeah, when they're talking. 400000 for being able to drop smoke bombs all throughout the school and lock all the doors automatically, plus supply Remote the, monitoring, yeah, plus cool. supply the, the whole teachers school with up. these little uh, yeah. panic buttons. Yeah, and, and on top of that, so, and not only that, but now they need uh, someone from this uh, uh, this firm to come and maintain this equipment. And sure. once they use their smoke, once they deploy their smoke, they're going to have to have these, these, nim it. these Nimrods come back in and reload the smoke. Another fifty grand right there. All right, let me go on here. This is the segment of the Rossman Report where he vamps with the anchors, so we'll see what sort of asinine things they have to say because I know their comments <laughs> after the uh, the Robin Hood report that Rossman did was actually pretty good, uh, but the comments of the Today Show hosts were ridiculous. So we'll see what they say here. and innovation, but it makes me sick to my stomach that yeah. it's come to this. It yeah. really does. Yeah, we talked to the kids about that, thinking maybe they would be scared by this. They do these drills all the time. They see the, the smoke coming out, but the yeah. kids told me, we like it. It makes us feel safer when they oh. run these drills and they have a plan. Yeah. This is a series. What do you have tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow we're tackling another important issue, obviously. With All right, who cares? That's it. Yeah, and, th and this guy's saying about how sick he is that it's come to this. He is part of the problem. He is that put, Matt Lauer? Is that what his name is? He puts, okay. these, he puts these shooters on a pedestal and talks about them for weeks and weeks and... And and they're martyred forever. I mean, they they get their names in the history well, book I mean, because of really, this Nimrod. I don't really know how you do, how you do otherwise. Yeah, I don't think you can really blame the media for this, Conan. I mean, the, the people are shooting the school up not because they want to make a name for themselves, but because they're they're pissed about something, right? Like the Dylan Klebold and Eric Harris, they they shot up that school because of how they were treated by the other students. That not may be true, the but the, the the kid that shot up the school in Connecticut, the Sandy Hook, what did he shoot it up for? Because he was bananas. That's why. Well, there's that too. The Virginia Tech guy. Uh, you got the movie theater. The, the, another, this, a lot of this is like this is Colorado crap. I mean, but, but has it ever been shown that one of these school shooters did it specifically for the media coverage? Somebody somewhere has done it for the media coverage. Maybe I don't so. know. What I think to... I think down inside, anyone who is going to jump off something wants someone to feel their pain. A misery loves company. I think that yes, deep down inside, they do it because of the media attention, and they're gonna and they're gonna go out in a blaze of glory if they can. They're not just gonna go walk out in the woods and disappear because no one will know but i think but this is this is a way to do it and by the way a lot of these guys are on drugs i mean just plain the, and simple uh, the pharmaceutical the, the shooters they're yeah. all they're all 
uh, out of their minds, and they've all well, been, they've been given those, and they've been given those things exactly. Uh, so probably it, at so, the behest so of the I school. Think I, serotonin I believe that it's a it's a it's a combination of a lot of factors. It's big yeah. pharmaceutical. It's it is the media. Uh, it is this. It's society. It's, it's maybe bullying these guys around. Yeah. Um, it's there's there's lots of factors at play right here. Yeah, and I'm I'm with you, Conan. That it is super sad to have these kids just being so obedient and so so used to this. This is a regular occurrence. All of these drills, they're really like drilling obedience into their heads, and it's just so disappointing. I think this is one of the biggest reasons to get your kids out of government schools is because they're teaching your children obedience to the state. They're teaching them fear. Uh, and that's what this is all based on, and I, I think that that's a really scary thing to be teaching kids. And by the way, the rebels, the kids that uh, the problem, the problem child kids, yep. they weren't in this video. They were they got sent to the stadium I for they uh, did to have a <laughs> to have, to have recess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to go someplace else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because uh, I know that there would have, at least in my day, I was the, one of the troublemakers. I at bet school. you were. And I was never impressed with the whole hide under the desk silly nonsense. Like that didn't do anything for me at all. So I was, pr- I probably would have been like, for me, it was just an opportunity to get under the desk. Yeah. And lay, and lay down and take a nap. <laughs> hey, our toll free number here is 855 450 free. If you're a parent, you've got kids in government school, sh- tell us how you feel about this super security stuff. It's it's free com- talk because it's coming to you. For P-150, P-150 GA, P-150 OK, P-150 TN, C-250 A, C-250 E, C-250 Q. Not available in all states. What's the scariest thing about going to the dentist? Opening your mouth or opening your wallet? Because just a simple cleaning can cost $100, and things like root canals can cost you hundreds more. If you don't have dental insurance to help, call Physicians Mutual Insurance Company, 1-800-809-5580. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps pay for checkups right away. So you can call today and get your teeth cleaned tomorrow. Plus, it helps cover the more expensive procedures you might need down the road. Fillings, crowns, bridges, even costly dentures. There's no deductible and no annual maximum. Your acceptance is guaranteed for one of these insurance policies, even if you're retired. There are no networks, so you can choose any dentist you'd like. Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll rush you a free information kit with all the details. 1-800-809-5580. That's 1-800-809-5580. 1-800-809-5580. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. No way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com. PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV 
say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. I am a 47-year-old female and had a heart attack in 2005. This is Alice from New Jersey. I still get angina, even with four stents. I was taking nitro two or three times a week. The very first day after taking heart and body extract, the chest pain was gone. Now I don't wear a nitro patch. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. Dial on in toll-free to join us here on the radio waves at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Is it too far? Has this school in Indiana gone too far with uh, the ridiculous-looking security measures that they put into place? Would it be easier to just allow people who wanted to to carry weapons on the school grounds? Like, you know, just let the teachers, if they feel so inclined, to have whatever weapon they prefer to defend themselves with? I think the problem here is is that uh, the government school itself, you basically have to uh, agree with the wishes. You, you have to take into consideration the wishes of every constituent in the given area. So some people are going to say, well, there's no there's no amount of money that's too much to pay to protect our kids. Mm. And there's other people who are going to say, hey, how come you're not letting the math teacher carry a gun to school? Mm. And you've got all these different people with all these different opinions, and you somehow have to come up with the right uh, the right scenario um, out of all these different opinions. You can't do that. You can, however, set up a bunch of little schools and everybody gets their own thing. The best way to do that is stop taking tax money from people to support your government school system. Yes, I know you're scared the uh, the poor kids won't get an education, but let's step down for a second. This education isn't about poor kids anyway. The fact is, is the vast majority of kids in the United States go to government school. You're not going to tell me the vast majority of kids are from poor families. You're probably talking about 10% or 25%. Fine. Give a, um, a you know an income-based scholarship to the poor people if that's what you want to do. Uh, if, if, if you're really worried about poor people, then give an income-based scholarship to them and let them pick the school that's best for them instead of collecting them all in one area so they become a target for crazy people. Yeah, this is this is a combination of uh, middle-class welfare and a whole lot of individuals who uh, just don't want to take the responsibility to either train their kids themselves or to go out and have to find, oh, now I've got to find a private school for my kid. All that work I've got to do. That's go work. Yeah, that's true. Educating. If you don't, you know, taking responsibility for your kid's education is, uh, there's some that's, time you got to spend on that. And, but, so that's just one more thing that Americans don't have to do anymore. And it's, and uh, healthcare is, on, is next on well, the list. Right. This I is was talking the, to a neighbor who's a small government guy, and I literally proposed essentially doing away with government school. And he said, but Mark, how are, how are we going to educate the kids? This, this I mean, is this wow. is the whole road. This is the whole roads argument. I mean, who's going to build the roads, Mark? <laughs> well, I mean, it, but with the roads, at the very least, you can sort of be like, well, you know, you understand why people don't know what private roads look like. They know exactly what private schools look like. There's lots it. of them, and they do a better job. There's nobody. There are very few people who are listening to me right now that would say that their ki- that kids get a better education in government schools than they do at private schools. Well, so, and, and, not even and, and, a private, not even a government school teacher would say that. A lot of the government school teachers send their kids to private schools. Exactly. A lot of the state reps in this area hate private schools. They're trying to do away with them. They're trying to create laws that will uh, do away with. Yes, wow. it's the definition of a of a fascist, right? Like that's what they want to do. They want all the kids underneath their roof getting their indoctrination. That's what they're looking for. And it's precisely what they want. Well, of course, their argument is uh, the whole Christian aspect. They don't want kids, uh, pri- privatized kids, you know, learning uh, stuff that the, the public school kids aren't having to go through. They want they don't want uh, kids to be taught. I don't uh, know if that's their religion. actual the actual reasoning behind their, uh, their the legislation they're trying to propose, but uh, 
That's that's one argument right there. Yeah, well, let's just homogenize it, give everybody a really crappy education that doesn't mention God, and that will fix everything in America. That's the socialist solution. If you want to join us here, our Skype username is lrn.fm. So you're talking to, you said, Mark, you were talking to a small government guy, and he could not even envision a world without government schools. Yeah, I mean, he's not a philosophically small government guy. He's just a, you know, sort of, he defaults to that. Like What's his age? Do. Uh, quite old. Wow. And, and that's, and that's the worst, too, because, I mean, you would think that some old dudes would, you know, have actually experienced uh, a time in this country when there were more private schools than public schools. Well, I think a lot of this uh, strikes to the idea that we really need to, ha- need to have a deliberate movement of people who care about freedom. Uh, and that's the reason why we're all here together in the studio tonight is the Free State Project is to bring liberty oriented people, people who understand that, you know, we will have better education when we take the state monopoly out of it and allow the marketplace to work. You know, one of the big fears about having no government school is that private schools are supposedly expensive, although that's not necessarily true. I think, Mark, you said that somewhere in your town there's like some private school that does it for $1,500 a year. Yeah, I don't know if they've raised it, but let's let's go to 2000 to say they've raised it. That's nothing. I mean, tuition. But I don't know how they can even do that. 14000 is what they spend on the average, uh, I think, a high schooler here in uh, in the area. So you're still talking about 15 or 16. Actually, that's just the uh, city proportion. And when you add the state portion in, it is twenty thousand dollars per yeah. student average. It, it, uh, kindergarten, middle school, high school. So it's now, the average. I know some some areas don't spend as much as they do here in New England, but it doesn't it, it doesn't change the fact that you're still not getting it. You dump the money in, you dump the money in, you expect to get a better education out, and you're really not doing that. A private school can do a better job. Many of these charter schools in areas where they pay t- pay ten thousand dollars a year, they give the charter school fifty two hundred dollars a year. And uh, per student, the charter schools are doing a better job in attracting yep. students. Yep, that's absolutely true. And that's still mostly a government-run system. It's just a better one. And they, you know, the government bureaucrats and the, the unions and whatever, they just hold on and hold on. What we need is homogenized bad education for kids. There's the old uh, uh, quote from, um, I can't remember what the teacher's union guy was, but uh, some, some guy from back at the turn of the century says, I'll, I'll start representing kids when they pay union dues. <laughs> By the way, I've got some shooting numbers. Uh, 297 people have been killed since 1980, and that includes uh, Virginia Tech and the Sandy Hook and all of that. Not how, a big number, how many? Really, but... How many of these? Uh, uh, how many students are we talking about? Uh, 2015 fall. 2015. There are 50.1 million students in the U.S. And there's four point, and those are public school students, and there's 4.9 million private school students hmm. and that's just this year so we're talking well, we're talking since for 35 years drops in the bucket it's a horrible horrible thing and yes it's not something that you know you know i want happening in my community but the money they're talking about the prevention money to, to prevent something like this from happening this is like i mean you're, you're more likely to die uh, with some planes uh, bombing and are uh, uh, crashing into your building it you, seems like it but I mean, that's, somebody listening to the those numbers seems, you know, somebody listening to those statistics, statistics is going to say, Conan, you know, you just are cold. You don't care about the kids. You're not willing to do what it takes. You just want our kids to be subject to madmen in the schools. Why don't you care about kids? I'm. Hey, you know what? Your kids don't need to be going to these types of uh, institutions. They don't need to be going to these these prison like institutions where they are at danger. I want my kids to go go where they're safe. Well, if you want to send kids to a prison school, then you should be free to make that choice. There should be a marketplace of uh, of options for people. If you want to send them to the Citadel or whatever, where they're on lockdown. Uh, at all times, then by all means, you should be free to do that, and you should be free to pay for it. And you can, yeah, you can pay for it, and I'm not. And for the for the rest of us that aren't, you know, cowering in fear on a daily basis, who, ha- and if you have kids, and I, and I don't, but Conan, you do, and Mark, you do as well. Uh, you know, then you should be free to send your kids to the school that has the right security system for you, which could include no security system. It could include arming the kids uh, with uh, with something. Did you ever sneak off of uh, campus and go to lunch? Yeah, I did. Sure. I got, in, I got a lot of trouble. Boy, you won't be able to do that with this system, will you? Well, oh, absolutely uh, well, not. I mean, I mean they, you don't even need this system. The These schools are already on lockdown. You go to the high school here in Keene, and you cannot get in the building until they 
paid you in. There's a double door yep. system where a Sally Port. <laughs> yeah, like they you, have in jail. It's just like at the jail. That's right. So you go Ooh. and you you go and an, you <laughs> you announce yourself. Yep. And then there's a door that will buzz you in, and if you don't get to it in time, they'll have to rebuzz you in. So <laughs> and all the doors are like that. That's interesting because I've never gone during the daytime. I you know had no reason to do that. But I have gone into that same school after hours for like school board meetings and things like that. And then it's just wide open, right? Mm-hmm. You just walk in. So it's that same door system. They just lock it down during the day. And they've got their art. I mean, it, it's a it's pretty. But by, and by the way, when class is going on, it's clinical. I mean, the doors are all shut and you got mm-hmm. the, the nice gleaming floors and. Oh, I can just imagine the the security guard just walking down the the hallway and just uh, dragging his baton on all the on all the <laughs> lock on all like yeah exactly it's just, it's spooky like that, but uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, okay, so um, and people think that this is the cost of education, but you know, having a homeschooled kid, I gotta say that your kids are spending most of their time in indoctrination. Um, when <laughs> you know, I mean, what is there maybe? An hour or hour and a half worth of education that goes on, and the rest of it is sort of, uh, you know, making sure the kids are that they don't go to the bathroom at the wrong time, and all these other things. Teaching to uh, the lowest common denominator. When are your kids actually learning at school? Here's how to, how to take tests. Here's another reason to keep your kids out of the government schools. If you are a marijuana user as a parent. There's a chance your child may accidentally slip that information to the school administrators or the school cop, and then you could lose your kids. We'll talk about that coming up. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit strategicshelters.com. Gary, why aren't you outside enjoying the party? Uh, Hey, Michelle, it's this heartburn. When it hits, it really hits hard. Oh, I'm sorry. That's it. I've had it. I'm going to kick acid with Rolaids. Rolaids Advanced goes to work instantly for powerful relief of your worst heartburn, bloating, and gas. Wow, you're packed fast. Yeah, I feel much better. Now this is a party. Kick acid and gas with Rolaids Advanced. Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich? Working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare? Having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom106.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 106.com. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom106.com. You're listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Breaking news this hour from townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. Shouting support for Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis, who's been in jail for several days for refusing to sign homosexual marriage licenses. Hundreds of supporters gathered outside to see her release today. Thank you all so much. Her attorney, Matt Staver, says the county clerk plans to return to work. She loves God, she loves people, and she loves her work, and she will not betray any of those three. She'll do her job good, she'll serve the people as they want her to serve, and she was elected, and she'll also be loyal to God, and she's not going to violate her conscience. Staver didn't say whether she'll obey a judge's order not to interfere with marriage licensing in her office. 
The U.S. is in contact with countries in Europe grappling with the influx of more than 340,000 people escaping from the Middle East, Africa, and Asia, many of whom are fleeing wars in Syria, Iraq, and Afghanistan. White House Press Secretary Josh Shurness says the administration knows this is a crisis. We're certainly mindful of the importance of uh, timing here. This is an urgent situation, and many people are in a rather desperate situation and are in need of immediate assistance. The situation has also led to calls for the U.S. to take a greater role in the crisis by expanding its refugee program. Hillary Clinton shifting her tune when it comes to the use of a private email account during her time as Secretary of State. She tells ABC News it was a mistake, and she is sorry about that. Clinton declined to apologize for using the email system in interviews on Friday and Monday. Still, the issue is likely to stick around. Two powerful Senate chairmen say they're considering immunity orders for a former aide who maintained Clinton's personal server. Lawyers for Brian Pagliano have said he would plead the fifth if asked about the server. More on these stories at townhall.com. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Xarelto users. If you or a loved one took Xarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Xarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots, but doctors have discovered they're unable to reverse or control serious side effects, such as internal bleeding caused by Xarelto. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. If you or a loved one was hospitalized for any form of internal bleeding or stroke after taking Xarelto, you may be entitled to a cash award and substantial financial compensation. There's limited time to file a claim, so call 800-714-0385 now. Call 800-714-0385. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-714-0385. That's 800-714-0385. Again, 800-714-0385. Planned Parenthood officials won't be there when Congress holds its first hearing into the agency's video controversy tomorrow. Nor will any representatives from the group behind those videos. Instead, the House Judiciary Committee will be hearing from pro-life experts, including the chief counsel from the National Right to Life Group and the director of the Yale University Law School's Program for the Study of Reproductive Justice. The hearing will focus on details of late-term abortions and the process for harvesting tissue from unborn babies. That is Capitol Hill correspondent Wally Hines reporting. Vicki Gardner has been released from a Roanoke, Virginia area hospital. She is the woman from Smith Mountain Lake who was being interviewed on live television nearly two weeks ago when a gunman killed the reporter interviewing her as well as the cameraman. The gunman fatally shot himself hours later after a police chase. News and analysis at townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. European lawmakers have backed plans to ban animal cloning and want an embargo on imports of cloned animals and their offspring. The German lawmaker leading the effort through the assembly warned that the, quote, technique of cloning is not fully mature. And in fact, no further progress has been made. She said many cloned animals die in the first few weeks and they die painfully. Should we allow that? Consumer research shows that most Europeans oppose animal cloning and would not buy foods produced from cloned animals. Bob Agnew reporting. A former Episcopal bishop has pleaded guilty to manslaughter, drunken driving, and leaving the scene at which he killed a cyclist. Under an agreement with prosecutors, the state of Maryland will ask a Baltimore judge next month to sentence Heather Cook to 10 years in prison. Cook was a newly installed bishop when she struck 41-year-old Tom Palermo on his bicycle near her home in December. She entered her pleas today, the day before her trial was scheduled to start. She has resigned from her post as bishop. More details at townhall.com. We, we, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of Level 3 and Level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock and my fortress, Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival, LLC.com. 
Uh, no way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9 millimeter bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you'd like to join us here at 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. Joining you in studio tonight, you've got Ian. And Conan. And Mark. And don't forget, you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features you'll find there. Right there on the front page of the site, you can actually create the content. Whatever it is that you want to submit to the front page, you can do that, and then other listeners can vote on it, whether they like or dislike, and you get to vote as well. It's a Reddit-based system, so it's totally free for you to use. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy. Shawnee Anderson couldn't stop crying. This is from aljazeera.com. On the morning of January 24th last year, she sat in front of a red minivan parked outside of her home in Napa, California, with her 11-month-old son in her lap. Roughly 20 minutes earlier, police had arrived at the one-story house, summoned by a neighbor who'd called to complain about a loud argument between uh, Ms. Anderson and her boyfriend, Aaron Hillier. The couple explained that because they were low on sleep and stressed about Anderson's first day back at work, a disagreement over who would change their child's diaper had escalated. The whole argument is ridiculous, Anderson told officers, shaking her head no when they asked if the fight had become physical. But now, So you're not allowed to yell anymore? Well, you know that's going to result in a busybody neighbor calling the police, and that's what happened. Thank God I live in the country. Maybe maybe, maybe the argument was a little louder than uh, they made it sound. Maybe it sounded like she was about to get beat on or something. So according to the story here, uh, the, couple, uh, the couple, let's see, Hillier was in handcuffs, uh, and police were saying that both he and Anderson would be charged with felony child endangerment. The officers had found prescription marijuana packets pipes and blunt joints on the tables in the living room and the couple's bedroom. Anderson and Hillier explained they were licensed users under California's 19-year-old medicinal marijuana law, but the cops said that the couple had put their son Sage at risk by careless use of the substance at home. Quote, your baby doesn't need to be subjected to marijuana, unquote, one of the officers can be seen saying in a video of the incident. And good for them for recording video of the incident, if that's what they indeed did. Mm. The couple spent five days in jail. Sage spent nearly two weeks in foster care. And for oh, the yeah, next, that'll help him. And for the next 13 months, Anderson and Hillier fought a juvenile court's ruling saying that they had mistreated their child. Though they did have their son back, the government had official jurisdiction over Sage and was entitled to make any decisions that it deemed in the interest of the child, including removing him from his parents' care. As marijuana laws loosen across the country, there's a growing gap between what's legal and what raises red flags for child protection agencies. 23 states in Washington, D.C. have approved medical marijuana programs, and of those, four states and the capital have legalized the drug for recreational use. Marijuana programs, uh, excuse me, no nationwide data exist on how many parents have faced neglect and abuse investigations over their marijuana use, as many child welfare agencies don't track how many cases involve drugs, much less the type of the substance. But the Family Law and Cannabis Alliance, a Massachusetts-based group formed in 2013 to help parents in marijuana-related child welfare and custody disputes, says it has assisted 200 families nationwide just last year. Public defenders in Colorado and New York who represent clients in family and juvenile court say as many as one-sixth of their cases involve marijuana, although the use of the drug is usually just one of several allegations against the parents. Government there intervention— Wasn't that one girl that was killed in uh, foster care, uh, it was because her, fa- her father had marijuana, too. I don't so remember happens. the story. Yeah, the, it, the, there is one out there. I t- I'll take your word for it. There, there are enough horror stories out there. Coming in all the time of foster care abuses, and uh, it, it, it's just it's it's, and no one has woken up to the idea that this is an actual, this is actually taking place. These people are still doing it every single day. They this is they get off on it, I believe. Some of these some of these child protective services uh, taking people, kids from the from they, parents? I think they really truly 
get off on this. These these are well. The, they probably tell themselves they're helping the children. Yeah, these right? are the these are the Kim Davises of the world, helping well, the children and and bringing the light to them. I tend to think uh, that uh, that these folks wouldn't do what they like. This is just a system, and once the system goes into play, then you know the police say, "Well, there's, we got a problem." Then the CPS comes in, and they you know they do their thing, and everybody does their thing, and none of them are responsible in their own minds. And you know, whoops, sorry about that. I mean, what do you think happened to the CPS officer that took away the child from um, the family that uh, that the child later got killed by the the foster care? Uh, woman, do you do you think that CPS worker was held responsible in any way? No, it's like, oh well, what a tragedy! I can't believe we checked that lady out, and sure enough. Mm. And of course, you hear a lot of these horror stories from social workers and child protective people who witness this crap, and they're like, you know what? I'm not going to have anything part of this, and they get out, become whistleblowers, and the very people you would want in the services can't handle it. Uh, they and they leave. I, so those sure. are, they, those a lot of the horror stories come from those individuals. And not just, you know, and of course the kids, you, you don't hear their stories until, you know, 20 years later when they're writing their memoirs or they're uh, actually suing whoever abused them. And then you always wonder what exactly happened when they're writing these things. Yeah. Government intervention can result in regular drug testing, findings of neglect, which can impede a parent's ability and uh, to find work around young people, the child's placement in foster care, and it can also result in some cases termination of parental rights. Critics say the approach of child protection agencies in juvenile courts is often outdated, characterized by overzealous enforcement from the war on drugs era and belief about the risks of marijuana that aren't supported by science. Meanwhile, low-income families of color are more likely to face neglect charges involving pot as they tend to live in more heavily policed neighborhoods and give birth in hospitals that may be more likely to conduct drug testing on newborns. You have this disconnect here between the law, which in a lot of states, says you can have marijuana. As long as you got a doctor's note, you can have it. And in some states, you don't even need, need the doctor's note. So it's legal to use it, but the Child Protective Services guys are still saying, this is evidence you're a bad parent. Yeah, never mind the, uh, the they probably go home that afternoon and they've got their kids running around. There's liquor bottles sitting on top oh, of the refrigerator. Oh, you better believe it. They're drinking some wine or whatever. Right. I mean, is is having a marijuana pipe out that much worse than having, a, a, you know, a box of wine on the counter critics say the uh, approach of child protection agencies again is outdated uh while we've had a sort of national rethinking of marijuana laws it hasn't filtered down to family courts at carl hart good says, sense generally doesn't yeah associate professor of psychology at columbia university he says it's a simple fix to look at the behavior of the child of the parent and not what's in their urine Officials with state child protection agencies say that parental marijuana use, whether legal or illegal, would not alone qualify as child abuse or neglect. They argue that pot use can impair a person's ability to parent and pose safety risks to a child. Mm. Now, I am, uh, like I said, I'm not a parent, but I've known plenty of parents who are marijuana users who I consider to be very good parents. I don't think that the use of cannabis has any bearing whatsoever on whether or not somebody is able to take care of their children. I'm going to say, for the record, in, in my in my observations, you know, uh, smoking the smoking the weed does not have anything to do with your parental abilities. Bad parents are bad parents because of other yes. reasons, not because they were uh, smoking some weed. Now right. maybe now maybe the drink. I've seen some some dudes, you know, going off the hook, you know, beating on their kids. Oh yeah, and they had a couple beers that afternoon, uh, but not the weed. Not the weed. Come on, man, this is it's just the silliest argument. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's certainly true that you can be a bad person and smoke weed, and weed is not going to make you into a better person. But also, weed is not going to make a good person into a bad person either. Mm -hmm. It's just a weed. It's just a THC. It's one of the most benign chemicals out there if you want to compare drugs. It's certainly more uh, safe than alcohol is. Nobody would disagree with that who's ever even given a uh, cursory examination of those two drugs. Well, yeah, and the, and the question, I mean, so we live, but we live in an environment Well, how many people have actually gotten a chance to indulge in some, some marijuana? Oh, I've done it plenty of times. Well, I mean, the people who are actually enforcing these laws and believe that weed is so evil. I mean, have they ever even... They couldn't have done it. They couldn't have. 
No, I well, hold on, um, Ian. There's a difference between doing marijuana a few times and that feeling that you can get from yeah. being sort of overstoned. I know it's been a long time for you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I see what you mean. The first time <laughs> could be a little uh, tough know, for like somebody. Chronic users have a completely different marijuana experience. That's true. From somebody who's just tried marijuana. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and, I'll give you that. And it so could be a little I'm scary sitting here listening to the, uh, the guys talk. You know, guys talk about. Uh, you know whether or not marijuana smokers would be sufficient parents or whatever, and I'm trying to run it through my head. Um, you know, the first thing I'd think to myself is, is that if I had my choice between a parent being uh, inib- inhibited in, in any way or not being inhibited, when say the house is burning down, I'll take not inhibited. But uh, you know, comparison to alcohol is still appropriate. 855 450 free. If you could choose any school in the country to earn your college degree and be on your way to a better life, would you choose one the Wall Street Journal recognizes as producing some of the best qualified graduates? Or one the Princeton Review ranks as a leader in undergraduate education? Or maybe one the U.S. News and World Report names among the most innovative schools in the country? Now, you don't have to choose. At Arizona State University, we want to help you learn to thrive in life. At ASU Online, we offer over 100 graduate and undergraduate programs on your time and schedule. You receive the exact same curriculum, degree, and prestigious faculty as the on-campus students, and we're universally recognized as one of the innovators in online learning technologies. For information, call 1-800-595-9736. U.S. News & World Report ranked ASU in the top 10 best places to earn an online degree. So learn to thrive with ASU Online. Call today at 1-800-595-9736. That's 1-800-595-9736. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, Now, just imagine there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercial, just like the one you're listening to right now, no other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us and advertise at GCNlive.com and an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. So I say to Mark at lunch, look, you know, I keep hearing from the government that, you know, they're worried someday ISIS may get here. And I go, duh, uh, Garland, Texas, Muhammad cartoon shooting. ISIS is already here. I'm not waiting for these people to defend me. I, if they don't know ISIS is here already, they got no clue. I'm taking care of myself. Guns80.com, AR-15 kits, 30-shot magazines, great prices. They've even got the Hillary special. Guns80.com, that's 844-2-GUNS-80, guns80.com. Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let gravity do the work, helping muscles rebalance and start releasing nerves. Sit in the sacro wedgie at the computer or while traveling to help correct posture to finally help relieve those stubborn aches and pains for only $33.95. It's made in the USA, so click the family-owned website at sacrowedgie.com, spelled S-A-C-R-O-W-E-D-G-Y.com, or call 1-800-737-9295. That's 1-800-737-9295. Relax your back pain away with the sacro wedgie. By now, you know the smart way to buy emergency food storage is calories per dollar. Ready Supply Foods sells you 50% more food for your money. GMO-free, 25-year shelf life, great tasting, and free shipping. You need 2,000 calories per day under ideal conditions. Most 30-day kits don't have enough calories to sustain you for more than a week. They just don't have enough nutrition to do the job. See the comparisons for yourself at ReadySupplyFoods.com. We are the new leader in value and quality. Go to ReadySupplyFoods.com today. Now more Free Talk Live. 
Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. You can join us here on the radio at 855-450-FREE. And you may bring up anything that happens to be on your mind, 855-450-3733. We've got Skype as well, so don't hesitate to avail yourself of that option. It's Skype username lrn.fm. You can join me, Trace Mayer, Stephanie Murphy, and many more great speakers at the Bit- uh, and Bitcoin enthusiasts on October the 29th and 30th at the Bitcoin Investor Conference. It's happening at the beautiful The D Hotel in downtown Las Vegas, Nevada. This is an event you don't want to miss. You can go to bitcoininvestor.com to get your early bird tickets. They are still available. Uh, it's bitcoininvestor.com. I'll be emceeing the event oh, wow. and broadcasting live there. Really excited to see you. Uh, ticket price is, uh, is quite reasonable, please. Uh, by the way, The D... That's the hotel we're and casino we're at. They take Bitcoin. Whoa, so, cool. Yeah, it's a big deal. So you go to a Bitcoin investors conference, which I imagine will have some pretty uh, important people at it. Yep. Uh, and the hotel takes Bitcoin. Bitcoininvestor.com. Come out and hang out with me. I love it. Love isn't there a way to travel like on an airplane? Is it Orbitz? Who takes the uh, Cheap Air? Cheap Air, right? Yeah, Cheap Air does. Cheap Air.com does. They take Bitcoin. So, so you could fly out for Bitcoin. Do the whole Bitcoin it's thing. Stay at the hotel for Bitcoin. And eat, spend, eat at the hotel. Yeah, and spend the, the whole weekend there with Bitcoin people. Sounds yep. like fun. And hang out with me. And Stephanie and Brian are there too? Yep, that's cool. exactly right. All so right. Bitcoininvestor.com. First time ever, right? Is that the first conference? Yes. It's awesome. premier. Get on the ground floor. Indeed. All right, let's go to the phones to the fun. Uh, let's talk first to Charlie, listening in Arizona to K Talks. Hey, Charlie. Yes, good afternoon, my uh, friends in freedom. I just want to step back uh, uh, here and uh, discuss the uh, uh, government schools. They are uh, admin, uh, like prisons. Uh, since the beginning of the seventies, um, I was uh, I was an Eagle Scout. By the time I turned sixteen, uh, I had won a, a statewide competition on citizenship in 4-H. So I was a true blue, trade based, you know, patriotic young man. But uh, in high school, that all changed. <laughs> I learned more. Uh, more evil and wicked things uh, in uh, in uh, high school than uh, I ever would have anywhere else. Uh, so it's a lot like being in prison, prison then, because, yeah, when you get put into prison, you're in there with a bunch of criminals, and so they teach right. you uh, criminal things that you wouldn't have otherwise learned about. That's kind of how it was for me, too. I went, I left the Christian school, went to high school and uh, government high school. And and, and then you went downhill. It was, yeah, it, was, it was definitely downhill for yeah. me. Yeah, he ended up marking it up in prison. I, yeah, well, I, uh, um, I uh, would have loved to have kept my uh, children from it. Uh, I had, uh, in, in fact, uh, my uh, oldest son, uh, I had taught him to read write and do simple arithmetic before he went to kindergarten. But, I think that's really uh, all you need to that, do. You start them out with the basics and then let them figure out what to learn. teach them how to learn. Hey, thanks, yeah, Charlie, well, yeah, for your call like, tonight. I do appreciate hearing from you. Let's talk to, uh, we got Ron here in Utah listening to KZNU. Hello, Ron. Hi. Hey, Ron um, here. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, I, I love your guys' show. I and I listen often. Um, Thanks. I I feel like this whole thing with this county clerk or whatever she is is being overhyped. And and when it when anything's overhyped, I get suspicious that there's something going on that we don't know about. You know, mm. that's that this thing's dominating the news to an extent that uh, I you know I and and this whole gay you know the whole gay marriage thing you know when when you consider that they're not even 5% of the population but but you know you can't watch anything on TV without having the whole gay thing 
I don't want to say jam down your throat, but it, you know, but it, it's that would, a big that would be issue. very gay of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if it's five percent. I've heard it's uh, it's one in ten, but I don't know. I haven't. I seen think it. it's less than that. Well, I think it's less I, than I, that. I don't. I don't know. It, it, it's a very small number. And, and also, when um, we say gay, are we talking about people who are 100% gay? Or are we talking about people, you know, in the middle of the Kinsey scale that are sort of leaning yeah, gay? I, I don't know. We, you know, you can parse the whole thing how you want. And I, you know, I feel like I'm a minority because I'm a, because I'm, I'm not a conserv, I'm not a religious conservative. I feel like I'm a religious libertarian, you know? Mm. But and and that you know that puts me in a minority less than one percent I'm sure but but you know I uh, I I I also feel uh, I uh, that uh, um, gosh dang it I lost my train of thought now, it happens sorry. it happens <laughs> so I understand that uh, that you're you're frustrated I, I'm curious though what is uh, what is it that you think is really going on with the Kim Davis thing are you saying that the Kim Davis coverage is obscuring more important stories or that there's some other uh, some other narrative going on with the Kim Davis thing that is not apparent could be Sy- could be you refugees I- Syrian refugees maybe I, I'm just a little guy in St George Utah as a small town you know I I don't always know the big picture, but but I do know that that this story seems like it's being overhyped. And well, that's the and, thing with the media; they they take whatever it is that they think is going to get people to hold through a commercial break, and and they run with yeah, that absolutely. thing, man. They they run yeah. it to uh, into the ground. Ron, thanks for the call tonight. Yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, always, you know, make a few notes, and then you'll never lose your your train of thought. But I understand it's it's intimidating to be on the radio. Our toll-free number here, if you want to join us, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I mean, they, that is true with the media. They do pick a story, and they hit that story hard, it, like the, the Virginia shooting with the, the two people that got shot on the pier by the former uh, the news anchor. I mean, that one was hit pretty hard, too. And, you know, it's I, I think it is advantageous to the news medias to do this, uh, if every single one of them, every, if every channel was covering a different story, it would be overwhelming, and it, it would it would be too much. It would be over. It would be it would be too much for the viewer to uh, to deal with. But if they're all covering the same thing, now you have different angles to look at this. You have, you have so you'll have different uh, uh, types of mainstream media, different, like Fox di- different, versus yeah, MSNBC. Different, yeah, so they're both covering the same story, but they're covering it from different angles. And you can root, so now you've got your, you know, your your get your wrestling match going on, and you got something to vote on, you got mm. something to fight. You need now you have something to talk about at the water cooler. If every single news media was covering their own story, it, there wouldn't you wouldn't know where to go. So you would go you'd go to the water barrel, uh, the water the water cooler on Monday morning. You would mm-hmm. have a hey, guess what I saw on Fox. And of course, uh, the liberal friend there didn't. They don't know what you're talking about. They don't know. Well, but they, MSNBC, they've heard the same story from the other angle, and so you know they, they find now, now, now you've got your little water your water cooler battle in, on Monday morning. Uh, so I think it's advantageous to to do actually do this. It makes sense. Whether whether is, there's actually whether they're blowing it out of proportion, I yeah I think they're doing that too. But whether there's actually something else going on, I don't know. A lot of times it seems like something is getting signed. When one of these stories is blown out of proportion, yeah. Or, but is it a conspiracy, or well, is it just the way it is? Our toll-free number is eight fifty-five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Well, I mean, there are people who believe that you know, a lot of these media companies are owned by the same conglomerates, and so that there's somebody handing down orders from on high. They're often owned by the same conglomerates. Eight fifty-five four fifty free. It's Free Talk Live. Okay, open your mouth and say ah. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to sayahnow.com. Sayahnow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. 
hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow, a new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. Most of us already know that taking a fish oil supplement to boost omega-3s is a good idea. But did you know that about 60% of Americans are actually deficient in omega-3s? Did you know that most fish oil products contain only about 25% omega-3s and the remaining 75% is undesirable fish fat? Heck, did you know that more than 90% of fish oil supplements sold in the USA are not even made here? If you want to boost your omega-3s using the finest American-made fish oil, check out Nutrigold Fish Oil Supplements on www.fishoil.best. Nutrigold fish oils are independently five-star certified and guaranteed to be exceptionally pure. That means no more fish burps. Best of all, just one Nutrigold fish oil capsule contains more omega-3s than four standard fish oil capsules. Go to www.fishoil.best or call 888-920-1497 and use promo code BESTFISHOIL to get a free one-month supply. That's www.fishoil.best or call 888-920-1497. Owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't pick on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. Mike Stennerson for Midas Resources. At no time in history have precious metals been more important, certainly not in my 22 years in the industry. The dollar has lost over 90% of its value in the last 60 years. No fiat currency has ever survived the government printing presses. Ours is not immune. The time is now to be proactive. 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Anything tied to the dollar is at risk. CDs, annuities, 401ks, IRAs, stocks, bonds, you name it, so decide. Do you want to leave a legacy of wealth or debt for your family? The choice is yours. Call me at 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. That's 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Be proactive, not reactive. Call 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. No way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? They found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. Of course, you can join us on the radio waves here, 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. Skype in. Skype username is lrn.fm. We've solved Obamacare at our house. Now, I don't get insurance as part of my job. I'm running a business here with Free Talk Live. And um, so we have to buy our own health insurance. Health insurance, it's expensive. And for us, the pricing had gone up. Well, um, Liberty Health Share was a solution for that. Now, what a health share is, what it is, is it's, it's people sharing the cost of medical care amongst themselves. That's what an insurance company does to some extent. They just say, you know, they figure out what it's going to cost, and then they have all this overhead and secretaries and uh, assessors and all these things. A health share, they don't have the overhead um, that insurance companies have, and so they're able to provide the, the you know, the same services at lower prices. For us. It was a little more than half price, and that's a big savings. You can check them out 
Uh, by the way, you can choose your own doctor and choose your own hospital. They want to make want me to uh, make sure I mention that because to me, what good is it if you can't? So choose your own doctor and choose your own hospital, and uh, live out your values in in healthcare. LibertyHealthShare.org, one eight five five fifty eight Liberty. LibertyHealthShare.org. 1-855-58-LIBERTY. This must be working and working in spades for our listeners, by the way, because Liberty Health Share has uh, jumped on board. They're very excited with Free Talk Live. They've uh, t- put their toe in the water, and they're going to stay with us. So cool. Lib- LibertyHealthShare.org, 1-855-58-LIBERTY. If it's worked for other people, if you have your, uh, if you have to pay for your own insurance, LibertyHealthShare.org. All right, so our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Uh, we've been discussing... The issue of parents in states like California and the 20-something other states that have medical marijuana. Of course, there's also a few states that have uh, legal marijuana just for recreational purposes. Apparently, they're running, still running up against the Department of uh, Children and Families or whatever alphabet soup they've come up with. Because they're named different things like DCF and DCYF and uh, whatever. HRS. HRS. Yeah, so and so there, the problem is that parents are getting in trouble still with Department of Children and Families because they're using marijuana. And Al Jazeera has the report on that. You're welcome to comment. Uh, Toll-free number 855-450-FREE. As states grapple with how to respond to parents' marijuana use, they're guided by different statutes under concerning child neglect and abuse. Under California law, the government must prove actual harm in order to claim custody of a child, uh, but in New York, establishing proof of harm isn't necessary. In, yeah, you don't need to do that. In many states, <laughs> including Colorado, which has allowed the legal sale of recreational pot since last year, a positive test for marijuana in a newborn automatically triggers a child welfare investigation. And Colorado's statute specifies that cultivating Schedule One substances, which under federal law does include marijuana, regardless of its classification in individual states, in a home around children also qualifies as child abuse. So just growing the plant is child abuse according to Colorado law. Not even using the plant. No, not consuming it, just growing it. Just growing it. It's in, just a plant. Right. <laughs> that grows naturally. In, in fact, it grows very well naturally. In some places, child welfare services... They don't call it weed for nothing. Uh-huh. Exactly. Are administered at the county level and can take slightly different approaches. Because the definitions of abuse and neglect are fuzzy, lawyers and parents and cannabis advocates say they leave a lot of room for discretion on the part of the police, social workers, and judges. Some degree of latitude is necessary, given the complicated nature of each family's circumstances, say advocates. That latitude also means that caseworkers and judges' personal views on marijuana are also reflected in the outcome of the cases. Another factor is the family's ability to afford a lawyer. While most states provide some form of legal assistance for parents ensnared in uh, civil child abuse cases, representation isn't guaranteed, as it is in criminal cases. Now, the case that we had discussed in the very beginning of the story, uh, the couple who they'd had an argument in California, some busybody neighbor called the police on them, and ultimately they both ended up in handcuffs. Even though there wasn't an actual physical altercation between the two, the police found some marijuana and some uh, pipes and things like that in their house. Uh, They are white, and they were released from jail they were able to scrape together enough money to hire a lawyer, and eventually their legal fees totaled more than fifteen thousand dollars. What does their um, what does their ethnicity have to do with it? I don't know. It just mentions it. Okay. Mentions it here. Uh, Ani succeeded in getting the criminal charges dropped, but the and that's the attorney Jennifer Ani. But the couple also f- uh, faced the case in juvenile dependency court, in which the Napa County Child Welfare Agency alleged their marijuana use had put their son Sage at substantial risk of harm. Now I'd like to know exactly from what, you know, exactly I'm, I'm, what would harm this child. Yeah, I'm going to say that most people, most families who deal with child protective services. Uh, never get this far. What do you mean? They, they, no, none of these people scrape up fifteen thousand to fight. Oh yeah, to fight this, uh, uh, this ruinous. Who could uh, afford that parasite? Uh, yeah, exactly. And so we, we never hear these stories. So, so the, so the question is, how many of these are actually going down uh, daily? 
uh, that, that we, that we never about. hear about. Just because they get taken, you know, their kids get taken from them and they don't have the resources to scrounge up media or social media or whatever. Right, and, and, I'd like to think that um, the majority of these cases where kids are taken from homes and, and people are gone after, that it is a legit situation. However, um, I'm familiar with a, a free stater who's moved here. Carlos who, Morales. Who worked within the child uh, welfare uh, organization. I think I can't remember which. Some, one of he the was Southern in Texas. States. Was Texas, and he, um, you know, he tells no good stories uh, about these uh, about, about this organization. Just abuse of power, lots of abuse of power. So, and, and hasn't it been found? He wrote a book about it. Hasn't it been found that actually just leaving them with the abusive parents is is tons better than uh, throwing them out there into the world to 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 deal with who knows well, what? Putting them in foster care can result in, we've read the stories over the years, I mean, it can result in abuse, it can result in sexual abuse, it can result in starvation. You, you could have some lady uh, and all she's doing is just harvesting kids for the for the money, for the payout. There's people, right, there are people I've, who I've have put kids I've met those people, by the in, way. I've, in cages. Mm-hmm. They they well, will put yeah. kids in cages. Once the kid's in a cage, I think that there's a point where I'm like, okay, fine. I'm down. Let's get let's get that kid out of there. You mean bring him back to the allegedly abusive parents? Yes, uh, but uh, no, no. Bring them back to the allegedly abusive parents. Right, the idea would be that the parents are allegedly abusing the kids, so they are put into foster care, where they're then abused even worse than what they were allegedly being abused well, by. I, the okay, so care. I, I really have to believe that the that at least some good percentage of uh, people who are uh, doing foster care are good folks. I think that's true. I don't know. Like a lot of them are doing it for the money, and I couldn't say exactly. You know, let's Which just call them. Which percentage? What's that? Which percentage is doing yeah. it for the money? Well, versus- if they're doing it for the money, I still don't have a particular problem with it. They're incentivized by money. That's one of the reasons I'm here tonight, right? Um, so I may or may not be a good talk show you're host. Ad- adopted. No, because I make money doing a talk show. Oh, okay. Try to stick with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, you know, I don't care whether they make money doing it. I care whether they're bad foster parents. And I'm going to have to say that I consider it probably to be a small percentage of foster parents to be really horrible. And I'd consider a small percentage of parents who have their kids taken from them to be really horrible, too. So I'm going to say that, hey, there's a point where the kid is truly threatened. I don't mean, oh, this could happen. I'm talking about scars, burn marks, cages, Torture implements. Like now we've if the got. The child's in a cage and they're not being fed very well. That won't necessarily show on their body. Well, if if you find a cage that you think the child's being held in, then let's, you know, like maybe that's. How often something... are the foster parents' houses uh, checked out by the state agents? Are, are you really defending people who put their kids in uh, cages? No, I'm not. I'm asking the question. You said if they find a cage. I'm yeah, wondering yeah, what, how often what's, that happens. What scrutiny do these guys have to go through on a on a regular basis? Uh, are they are is, is there some uh, guy who walks through once a year and he calls ahead so that you, you know they can right. they if can the prep their cages in the basement? If there are ten percent of the kids that are currently going to foster care going to foster care, I'm going to assume I could be wrong, but I'm going to assume the people with the best motives will be the ones that are left because they're motivated by something intrinsic. Hmm. 855-450 free is our toll free number. If you're motivated by the money, then that could possibly incentivize you to do things like cutting the costs on the like the food that you're feeding, right? Exactly. That's one of the ideas behind the cages. Uh 855-450 free. You can join us here. Your thoughts on the foster care system. Maybe you were in foster care as a child. What did you experience? You can share it with us here on Free Talk Live. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. 
We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. Just recently, we've witnessed some of the most catastrophic disasters in history. Be sure to prepare yourself with great-tasting, high-quality, GMO-free food that has a 25-year shelf life. Of course, we're talking about the foods from SurvivalFoodAlliance.com. And don't forget, the human body needs up to three quarts of water every day to remain healthy and hydrated. So check out our water bricks at SurvivalFoodAlliance.com. Go to SurvivalFoodAlliance.com or call 877-223-1776. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Do you owe the IRS money? Has the IRS garnished your wages or put a lien against your house? The IRS has the power to make you pay back what they claim you owe and will stop at nothing to collect. There is a solution. Call Signature Tax now. Speak with our professionals and feel the weight of your tax burden lifted from your shoulders. Call now for your free and confidential analysis. 800-481-3147. Again, that's 800-481-3147. 800-481-3147. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. Dial in. Join us here in the remaining moments. We've got time for you if you want to do that at 855 855- 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Also, Skype in at Skype username lrn.fm. Discussing the issue of uh, child endangerment by marijuana. There are certain child protective agencies out there who are still arresting parents who have marijuana in their house, even though they have permission from a doctor. In the case of the uh, this California couple that uh, we were talking about. They have the marijuana cards that they legally need to legally have and use marijuana, and that did not stop them from ending up in handcuffs and having their children taken from them, and further, racking up legal fees totaling more than $15,000. Now, according to the story over at aljazeera.com, in March of 2014, a judge ruled in favor of the Child Protective Agency, but a year later, an appeals court overturned the decision, ruling that the government had erred in taking jurisdiction over SAGE. But does that mean the parents will get $15,000 from oh, Child no. Protective Services? That money is, those windows have been broken. Ian. Right. To pay the fees to their attorney who Probably helped not. them with this? I, yeah, I highly doubt that. Uh, in Colorado, whose experiment in legal pot has been closely watched by other states, the outcome of child welfare cases often really depends on what county you're in, said Terry Robnett, founder of the state's Cannabis Patients Alliance. I wouldn't be surprised at that. The northern counties that are more rural, 
I bet. Colorado's child protection system, like those in eight other states, is overseen by state officials but administered at the county level. And the state's 64 counties represent a medley of views on cannabis. Some flatly banned the retail sale of marijuana after Amendment 64 legalized the drug. The state's marijuana laws allow flexibility in how the jurisdictions can implement them. Officials with the state's Office of Children, Youth, and Families say there are enough protections in place, including judicial oversight, to ensure that parents receive fair treatment regardless of where they live. But in part because of concerns about the patchwork of the rules, the state legislature introduced proposals recently to codify the definition of a so-called drug-endangered child. Yeah, that state's way too big. It needs a, it needs a breakup like there. Well, there was a proposal to break off North Colorado. There's, they're always, state. they're always, I mean, uh, Jefferson. Jefferson was, uh, that's California. The, uh, we, yeah, we're talking about California though, right? No, this was uh, Colorado. Colorado. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's um, and California's too big too. I really do sort of wonder, being from a small state, I wonder what it's, uh, you know, if if people wouldn't be served better. Well, the reason we have Colorado the way Colorado is is somebody drew some lines on a map. It's pretty obvious. It's square, um, and or close to square, and um, uh, you know, I mean. Would we be better served if somebody went in and drew in some new lines and, and cut it up? Now, the state legislators don't want that, generally. Certainly not the state senators. Um, you mean like lines around my property? No, I'm just, I'm just saying— Like, a, well, like you just know, one little little triangle right there in great. the middle of Keene. I Allowing people to uh, <laughs> secede. Um, people, people in Liechtenstein can secede from their uh, local governments if that's what they want to do. Um, you know, they can— there's you just go ahead and read i think it's so oh shoot i can't remember what the uh the, the prince's uh name of his book is but if you look up the prince of liberty uh, uh lichtenstein's book i'm sure you'll find it the state in the 21st century maybe uh he um outlines the way that uh you know they can secede and that sort of thing but i'm really just talking about smaller states um what if you had instead of 50 states what if you had a hundred or a hundred and fifty. Would it be so bad? It wouldn't change the House of Representatives in any way. It might change change the the Senate, but you could just cut it down to one senator instead of two if that's what you wanted to do. So child welfare cases often begin at the hospital, where pregnant women of their newborns te- or their newborns test positive for marijuana. Now, many states mandate or encourage medical workers to report evidence of prenatal exposure to a drug to Child Protective Services, and that's what happened to Natalia. Costrita of East Los Angeles. In June of last year, Ms. Costrita, a legal medical marijuana user, gave birth to her son 11 weeks early. Because he was born prematurely, the boy was tested for drugs. Although Costrita says she stopped smoking marijuana upon learning of her pregnancy, the child was found to be positive for THC, the main psychoactive ingredient in marijuana. How positive um, was she? Just in the room with somebody? You know, you, you never know. I don't know how you can. I don't know how you can determine. Or is she that. lying? I don't know. The positive toxicology report triggered a home visit from a worker with the Los Angeles County Department of Children Family Services, says Costrita. Her and her fiancé and his parents, who share the couple's three-bedroom apartment, had to submit to drug testing. The parents had to submit to drug testing. Mm. The couple prepared a list of people who could take their son if he was temporarily removed from their care. She says it was an intrusive, uncomfortable situation. Eventually, after hiring an attorney and appearing twice in juvenile court, the couple agreed to three additional months of regular testing and visits from a caseworker, but their son was allowed to remain in their custody. The entire ordeal lasted 11 months. Lawyer, You know, the uh, it's the taking the kid out of custody that makes me just freak out the most. I can only imagine um, if, you know, for whatever reason, the authorities tried to just take my son away from me, mm. what that would be like. Um, and it's just the most terrifying thing I can think of, other than him being, like, hit by a car or, some, you know, something dying, basically. It sounds horrifying. I would say the best thing you could do in a situation like that would be to record video. Because violence isn't going to make the situation any better. It's not. I mean, they're right. they're trained. They're they. Uh, what do they want you to do? Honestly, that's what they want you to do. They want you to be violent so that you can never get your kid back. Yeah, but if you've got video footage of these government goons coming to a good person's home and taking away a child who is not being abused in any way, then that is going to be some very persuasive video, and very emotional uh, video. Lawyers and medical experts are increasingly challenging the wisdom of slapping parents with abuse and neglect charges 
based on a child's prenatal exposure to marijuana. While a report by the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment recently concluded that evidence of the effects of pot use by pregnant women is mixed, with moderate evidence the drug is linked to attention problems among offspring, experts including Columbia's Hart and Carleton University's Peter Freed have testified the drug is less harmful to a fetus than cigarette or alcohol use. Well, fe- alcohol is terrible for a fetus, so I mean, they're only they're, that's a pretty uh, qualified statement. In New York City, where medical cannabis has been legal for limited use since last year, lawyers say the drug plays a role in perpetual racial and class disparities in the city's foster care system. In 2013, 93% of the approximately 11,000 foster children in the city were black or Hispanic. The city's Administration for Children's Services can refer parents for drug testing, even in cases where substance abuse wasn't among the initial allegations. Sometimes a positive marijuana test or the failure to complete a drug counseling program can be what stands in the way of a parent's reuniting with a child, say lawyers. For low-income families struggling to balance unpredictable schedules and affording transportation, meeting those requirements can be particularly difficult. Yeah, don't don't mess up not meeting your parole officer on Monday. That's That'll be the end of it. One of the managing attorneys with the family defense practice of Bronx Defenders, a legal group, says parents of privilege talk openly about their use of marijuana. They have absolutely no idea that some parents have to visit their children in an agency because they continue to test positive for marijuana. And once again, it comes down to whether or not you can afford to fight. Mm-hmm. If you can't afford an attorney, you're screwed. But if you can... You'll be all right in the long run. Well, I would hate to be in a situation where I had to pick my child or, or marijuana, and I feel like a, there's a few people who who do. But I would say the vast majority of people are just making bad choices. Um, that you know, like there's somebody who's treating some kind of me- medical situation, um, you know, with marijuana, and they have to have it. But I, you know, if I'm if I'm suffering from some mild medical s- situation. And, or it's my child, I'm going to suffer. Mm-hmm. As social mores and laws on marijuana continue to liberalize, debate on their approach of the agencies is, uh, to the drug is expected to grow. One of the uh, supervising attorneys of Brooklyn Defender Services says that people are open with the Child Protective Services investigators about smoking marijuana recreationally because they don't think that the government will take it that seriously. But that's exactly what ACS, the Administration for Children's Services, does. Uh, according to They take it seriously. Yeah, according to him, there's a client who, after telling a caseworker that she used recreational marijuana, she was no longer allowed overnight visits with her son. Jeez. The child welfare's agency approach is increasingly out of step with the message of New York's own governor and the city's mayor, who have in the past advocated decriminalizing small amounts of of marijuana. So here you have a situation where on one hand the law says X, but the enforcement agencies don't they don't care about that. They have their own rules about what they consider to be a good parent and a good parent in their mind is one who doesn't even ever use marijuana whatsoever. Yeah, that's and this is why they probably got into the job in the first place is cuz they feel these are nosy busybodies who feel in their heart of hearts that they know better how to raise kids and they're going to force that down everyone's throat. Uh, they are the crusaders of their uh, of what they believe, and that's hey, they've been to college. You're, yeah, well, I've been to college, and you guys are idiots. <laughs> well, changing this situation is, of course, one of the most complicated things, right? Because you, it's hard to go out there and advocate abolishing CPS entirely. We'll have to talk about that another time. But check out Conan on his website, BlackSheepRising.org. It's yeah, yeah, a yeah. great show, BlackSheepRising.org for more Conan and more Free Talk Live tomorrow night. In the meantime, at FreeTalkLive.com. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our... 